finally made it how are you guys tonight welcome each and every one of you amazing people here you amazing creators this is the night that we enjoy to spend time with you guys and uh really looking forward to it that's right it's tuesday tech talk or tech talk tuesday call it what you want uh, we all are here for one thing and only to grow together on our platforms on our channels and that's what we are going to try to do here today is learn on how to do it. That's right, guys. And remember, this is a co-op, a workshop, if you will. We're just uh, it's on our channel. Yes, but you guys are all involved with it. We're all here to brainstorm, uh, get ideas from each other. We don't have all the answers, but hopefully together we can figure out a lot of things. So um, no question too small. Don't be shy. We want to hear from you. Uh, big or small. Uh, don't uh, just stand up and ask uh, there's no ridicule here and there's no uh, no ill feelings and if we don't know the answer there's tons of people in here that most likely do and that's what's so cool about it is when people can walk away with the right answers to make things work exactly and that's uh, as Andrew said it is the beauty of it uh, that uh, no matter if you just started YouTube if it uh, has been the first year or maybe the tenth year you are on the YouTube we're all are here together to share the experience with each other other and learn from each other we are no experts here we're just mediation so to say <laughs> uh, getting the questions and and trying to put it back to you as well to get them all answered uh, so if you have any experience to share any knowledge tips anything like that uh, please uh, be uh, brave don't be shy uh, you're more than welcome put it in the chat uh, uh, when we start our Tuesday tech talk but before that as always we have a little bit of house cleaning to do <laughs> that's right guys that's right first I do want to mention guys Anybody new here? Uh, what we'd like to do is have some selfies. See what you guys look like. Show yourselves off. Anybody who's been here before, we always love seeing you guys. So many people in here, and we're going to say hi to each one of you in just a second, guys. I'm reading the message to go by. You guys are honestly just some of the most amazing people. Uh, so lots of love to you. We're going to shout all your names out in a minute. We'll just give a couple minutes for everybody to get in. You guys deserve an arena side welcome for being here. I want to talk about selfies, guys. Blue Wrench Group selfies. Take a selfie of you watching us. If you can't do that selfie of you, upload it to our Twitter. Link's there. And please use the included hashtag Blue Wrench Group. The other night, guys, we got somewhere between 50 and 60. I mean, we've done some really good nights. I think that's the best we ever had. Yes. And the more the merrier. And if you have merch, show it off there. We say no self-promotion in the chat, but there's a great place to do it. Throw it on. Show everybody what you got going on. It's a great place to be seen and show others uh, that you're ahead of the game. And I already saw, uh, see some of them already uh, been posting through the that. day. I also wanted to say uh, thank you for you guys. You've been such an amazing ambassadors uh, to our channel and to what we are doing here all together. Yes. Uh, putting tweets even before we are tweeting our streams. You guys already are tweeting out that today is the day <laughs> or yesterday was as well. And you guys are doing it even without us tweeting the tweets out. This is amazing. Track lady today. Erin, uh, there's so many of you guys uh, and girls. Thank you so much. This is the best way to say thank you <laughs> is to spread the word on, on your platforms on your network thank you so much it means a lot guys and i just want to say we've already cracked 100 people in the chat at one time you guys are awesome when we started back this fall we were hoping tech talk tuesday would still continue and people would enjoy it and you know what it has only gotten better and better and out of the six nights a week that we're on this is the night where we really, really just spend the whole time talking with you guys in the chat. And that's what's so amazing about it. And I guess we miss it a little bit. Yes. Uh, uh, the, just the chatting with you guys part. Uh, so that's why we enjoy it uh, so much as well. Well, we owe you guys a lot. Like Xenia said, you know, we, you can have all the greatest things in the world. But for live streams, if you don't have a great chat, it's just going to fall flat on its face. And thanks to you guys, you've never let that happen to us. You've done the complete opposite, as Xenia was just mentioning a minute ago. And just know how much we appreciate that. And anybody who hasn't been here very long, the whole point of the Blue Wrenches is the Blue Wrench community was just a bunch of YouTubers who create YouTube channels and are people. It's it's nothing more extravagant than that. And in its purest form, it just means being good to each other. 
and you guys wear it well. And uh, I've seen it time and time again. You guys get the true spirit about it. It's not about, oh, I'm a mod, I can do this or I can do that. It's about we're all equals. Oh, I've only got 20 subscribers. Well, I got 2,000. Not a problem. We're all in this together. We face the same trials and tribulations of being on here. Not just on YouTube, but in real life. It's the common bond. That was the whole point of it, was to show that the common between all of us. And you guys are just so amazing at making that happen and making so many people feel welcomed in here, and especially I see you doing with people new and uh, warming them up and letting them know how things are working and showing them the ropes if they're not sure yet. That's right. We're yeah. in it together, as we say, as Philip Cochum actually started to say that last spring. Yes. We are in it together. We are YouTube. Uh, that's that's right. right. And thank you so much for being here today. Well, I wanted to remind you guys, uh, did you watch yesterday? And if you haven't, uh, this is one of those interviews that uh, we just say you have to, you must watch it. And not just because it was one of our interviews and blah, 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 you know, watch yeah. it if you missed it. Uh, it was phenomenal. The, the guests that we had yesterday, if you missed it, uh, we had a guest who is a circus performer. He is a trapeze, trapeze? A, tra a trapeze. I, I never know how to pronounce it. No, no, trapeze a... artist. Uh, he is from Texas originally, but right now living in Japan. And he joined us from Fuji in Japan. Ryan Schneider. Uh, he talked about uh, different cultures of growing up in Texas and uh, uh, changing and moving to Japan. How it is to fly. Uh, how it is to overcome stage fright. Uh, how it is to... Uh, get that spice uh, to your life uh, amazing conversation and we usually say that uh, we don't uh, make our guests cry but I think mm. there were some very emotional moments yesterday uh, for all of us who were listening to the guest and to us as well so if you missed it please do watch at least some of it, it it's really worth it yeah it was, it was awesome and guys it's so nice we've been trying you'll notice the guest more and more out of the day-to-day -day circle, trying to get everybody to meet new people, and we all got to keep doing that. That's the best way to keep growing, is get out of our comfort zones, keep it there, never lose it, but add to it and add to it, and, and he was just remarkable. Yes. And he was recommended to us in a live stream by a future guest we're going to have on, Tokyo Drew. That's right. And that was so cool. You know, to actually put, the, he's going to be on and says, well, I want to be on first before he does. He's like, Hey, I, I'm not going to be on for a couple weeks, but I know this amazing guy in the chat right here. you got to get in contact with him. Like, that's the people that grow is doing stuff like that. So uh, That's right. The link is up in the i link, uh, in the i card, uh, as well as in the chat. Uh, oh, your mic. You're good. You're good. I'm just and uh, <laughs> uh, and yeah. thank you so much. And I also, uh, talking about interviews, wanted to say that tomorrow we are going to have Method Box on. And if you don't know what is Method Box, so you got to search it because they are blowing up like a rocket yeah. in the air up to the sky. They have just returned from 368 Offline Creator Forum, uh, which is Casey Neistat's uh, location. And they are... Well, uh, they are going to be the next big thing. Well, oh, they already are. Uh, mm -hmm. And we are catching them right at the beginning of that. Uh, they moved to Los Angeles and they are going to be joining us tomorrow. Uh, their brothers uh, talking about branding and moving the YouTube channels and personal branding ahead uh, and growing uh, Method Box tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern. Hope you can join for that as well. That's going to be exciting. Guys, you want information for your channel and that and the stuff we've been talking about? This is the place, this is really going to take place tomorrow night, like big time. You're, this is something you do not want to miss. There's going to be a wealth of information, literally, especially them so fresh from being back there. You guys are really going to get the insider scoop on what it takes on this platform. I want to congratulate uh, Ghost Mafia, who's one year anniversary today on YouTube. Wow. So a big well, congratulations. Congratulations. To you. Congrats. Well done. Well done. Enjoy up to bigger and better things, my friend. And uh, yeah, just wishing you all the best. Uh, I also see some uh, ones here for the Without Wrenches, A and J Outdoors. Oh, oh. <laughs> and Nia and her adventures, which you can hear playing in the background. I'm giving you guys wrenches as well. And it's great to have you here. Anybody new, if you haven't subscribed yet, though, please do. If you haven't hit that like button, please do. And if you haven't tweeted out, please do. And if you haven't told friends, please do. Guys, we're already over 100 and some. This is awesome. I am so proud of that, that so many people come to Tech Talk Tuesday. 
these are the people that really want to grow their channels and do stuff like that. And it's so amazing to be able to have the chance to share the floor with you guys. Absolutely awesome. And I uh, wanted to congratulate TriStar Travelers, who also is celebrating their first uh, anniversary of YouTube today. Excellent. Uh, Happy so anniversary. Congratulations to TriStar Travelers as well. Moser Boy, I see you too. And you know what? I see your comment about big and small channels. We all are growing here. We have yep. had interviews with people who had 500 subscribers, who had uh, 45,000 uh, subscribers. Uh, numbers matter for YouTube for analytics but for people people are still people numbers don't determine who and how they are so we love uh, them all <laughs> <laughs> no matter the numbers are we started with 42 last year at 5700 and nothing has changed we yeah. still face the same plateaus flat spots uh, every belly ache and growing pain you can get at 200 or so we're still getting and it's just the way it is I always say you don't need to be, you be a, a, a sub snob, but you also can't be a sub whore. It's not everything and it's not nothing. You got to grow properly, and that's what it's all about. But in time and uh, not making it everything, as your channel's not completely defined by how many people follow you. I see some channels in here that have 75 followers and have some of the best material I've seen in a long time. That's right. Uh, that's right. Uh, well, uh, and for those of you that are new, I uh, just wanted to say that we are a husband and wife team from Montreal. Uh, we are photographer and videographer uh, by day and at night. We are passionate about our YouTube channel. We go live six times a week. That's right. From Sunday to Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern with exception for Thursday at 1 p.m. Uh, we have a uh, shout out game nights twice a week. We have interviews with creators and celebrities three times a week and we have Tuesday Tech Talk every Tuesday all our schedule information in the video description and in our about section hope you enjoy your time with us and hope we can see you back soon as well <laughs> oh, oh for a second I gotta fix something here. and if you're new uh, <laughs> and it's the first time you hear what we're saying hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notified when we are on and live uh, just a reminder, hit that like button and share if you can. As I always say, uh, call your neighbors, uh, you know, uh, call your best friends, tell them we are on. The more, the merrier, the more information, the more experience we can share here. And don't fret a second, Andrew's going to be doing a roll call just yes. in a minute of time. And that is going to be your cue of liking, sharing, and doing an amazing selfie of hashtag Blue Ranch Group. There we go, guys. All fixed. Just a little glitch. I had to reinstall my computer again today, and I'm fed up of it. So <laughs> everything is all over the place. Finally, still trying to get everything organized, but thank you for your patience. And with that said, it is time. Also, oh, by the way, first, I seen somebody saying about the chat going too fast. Just scroll up a little bit till you see the arrow and then you can feed it down at your own speed. Uh, there is slow mode for chats, but it does not apply to uh, people with wrenches. And as you can see in here, there are a lot of people with wrenches. Right now, actually 110, I just checked. So uh, that's the trade-off. Uh, the message is just too important to get rid of the people's wrenches. So if you could just do that, that would be awesome. Alrighty, folks. Once again, anybody who's been here before, you know how this goes. You guys get an arena size welcome for being here and making this chat what it is. And I want to start off by saying a great big hello and thank you for coming to Wood Pigeon Outdoors, Willie Reed, Vexicore, Two Family Homestead, TriStar Travelers, happy anniversary once again, Tootsie Rolling Stone Travels, Two Sushi, Tanio23, Thor's Treasure, the Wombat Says, The Southern Latina, The Mitten Dad, The Creator Spotlight Show, The collector cu Collecting Couple, My Deepest Apologies. You'll see I'm very bad at messing these up, even the most basic, but You're please know I love you. good at messing them up. That's right. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate that. Good vote of confidence. That Moisture Boy is here. Tanis is here. Tammy Minda. Swampy Acres Homestead. Sue Nelson. Steel Cross. Steel Panther. Ooh, with a trademark at the end. Very cool. I like that. <laughs> nice to get, nice touch. SoCal Oki, Six Hand Spice, Sean Urshan. Arusha, oh my God, I'm there's where I go. Scrapping Irish, SM Gamer, Roland Picker, Riley Brock, Recycle Dudes in the house. Thank you for having me last night, my friend. Had a great time on your stream. Ralph's Trucking and more. Ralph Barton, Precision Angling. Philip Riggins, 
PGH Bonham Feeders, Patricia Sprinkles, Pam's Corner, Connor, uh, oh my God, oh my, I've only said your name 10,000 times before, Pam's Corner Bags, <laughs> Nicholas Poulet Outdoors, Nia and Her Adventures, Mummy Shell, Mrs. Naturally, Anak, and Nolens, oh my god, I hope I'm doing this right. <laughs> Miss Loveth, Mind for Combat. We need to get the digital version doing this so then it doesn't sound like <laughs> uh, Mickey XOXO, Marcel Harding, <laughs> Lovely Love, Log and Row, Life My Way, Living My Way, Life as Number <laughs> oh my Eight, God, it a Let Eat with Nandira, <laughs> Leonard Plays, Lady B A S M R, Kids TV Plus, Kasumi, Cardoso Media, Just My Fizz, Journey with Devo Jack, Josh Vitz, Jeremy Swal Studio, Jamaica Girl One Two Three, It's Just Scary, Iceberg Gin. Hot Ranchada, uh, H.B. Finnegan, Good Cemetery, Gone Bad, Ghost Mafia, congrats again, uh, for every freaky fanco, Flander He, Fishing Every Day, Fearless Soul, Erin's Family, Alma, Eileen Velu the Fam, Disney World Adventures, David Lean, Dark One, Dangerous Criminals, Cross Comics, Chalky Orange, Cherry Awesome Sunset Travels, Cerebral Killer, Carla Isho Aka seems Miss Sassy. AKA. Wow. <laughs> CJ Vid. <laughs> I didn't say I'm perfect. <laughs> Budget Outdoor Survival. Budget, Budget Bushcraft. Bucks Outdoors. outdoors Brittany Dog. Brad Beckham. <laughs> Boomer <laughs> Being Real. Big Rob. Beautiful, beautiful World USA. Avast Vlog. A.U. Pac Mule, Arthur Moorhead, a Manimal Fiasco, <laughs> I was waiting for you, I was trying to talk myself, and Andrew and Xavier XOXO, Alex the Blue Man, reviewer and, reviewer and gamer, Albert aka Turtle, Aerial Landscape, Adam F Adam's <laughs> Phoenix, 6190, A&J Outdoors, Two Chicks Crew, Tornado Gaming 234, Pokemon opening, 553. Five, Welcome to each and every one of you. Hope you enjoyed that spectacle. And guys, we got 115 in here. If we missed you, please, <laughs> please say hi and highlight our name, folks. It's uh, such an honor to have you. That's here. right. Uh, <clears throat> thank you so much for patience. Yes. <laughs> yes. That wasn't tedious for everybody or nothing. <laughs> no, but thank you so much for coming. Uh, it's so good to see you in such big numbers today. And uh, let's, uh, we hope that we can learn from each other here. Uh, hello, everybody who's just joining us uh, now. By the way, Budget Outdoors, what happened? You're up so early. Uh, <laughs> and Andrew has been stacking on his hooked on phonics, by the way. That's right. I'm yeah. getting there. See, the super chats are helping. They are helping me. I am getting there. So. I um, want to welcome Marcel Harding in here. He says, I'm a wonderful man. Well, there you go. You've heard it here, folks. We've got Karen Somers here. We've got Alexa Marcini is here. PM's Adventures Vlogs, uh, AU Pack Mule. Let's see, guys. Who else is Organic Gardening in North Carolina? Who else? Truck Lady C's in here. Oh, my God. So many. I can barely even get through them all. But that's awesome, guys. That means lots of great questions. We've got Red Kryptonite in the house. Great to see it. Just in time prepping. Release the lens. And I wanted to say hi to every one of you who is listening on their headphones. Hello. Uh, say hi in the chat. And if you can, and if you can, that's okay, too. Hope you enjoy your Tuesday night or uh, Wednesday morning with us. And Budget Outdoor says, I've been up all day. My, night day, uh, my only day shift today. Then I go night shift for the rest of the oh, week. Oh, no. Uh, love you, too, yeah. Bradley. Braddy, much love to you. It's Braddy, or I have an uncle called that. And there's some places that are Braddy and some are Brady, so whichever you prefer. Hi there, Boomer. Being real, I said hi to you three times, but I'll say it a fourth just because it's you. Hey there, Boomer. Being real, how are you? Good to see you. Gabriel Z is in the house. Riley Finchfield Food Reviews. Uh, Mickey XOXO is in here. Elma. All kinds of great channels, guys. Uh, Ooh, all kinds. I'm sorry, there's too many to keep going through. Two sushis, by. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself, two, sush two sushi. I'm glad you're enjoying it. It's great to have you. The Mitten Dad. 
The Mitten Dad's here, one of our podcasts. Great to see you. Forever Freaky Funko. Mr. Something Basics yeah. and I was Bless you. Sorry. <laughs> My God, she said it with the sneeze. That was my bitch. <laughs> <laughs> to anybody who had their headphones on, we do apologize and hope that didn't cause any permanent ear damage. <laughs> Jojo Walker's in Jojo, the house. Jojo, how are you? How are you? Good to see you all. Uh, thank you so much. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no problem, Boomer. And much love to you, too. Much uh, love to you. Dark too. one. Hello to From Australia. Australia. Yes. Uh, good morning to you. Xenia's going to ask you, oh, what is uh, the future like in there? Yes, or? I want to know what one is I'm sure. I'm sure a track lady would want to know that as well. Her day didn't go too well today. Uh, so I just... Uh, uh, a separate hugs to you uh, and thank you for the tweet and uh, let's see what Australians say about Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> and guys, as you've seen, do not ask for any kind of support. Do not self-support. Once again, because this is Tech Talk Tuesday, we'll bring it up once a week because I'm still seeing it happen by times and chats and it makes me want to pull my hair out. Please no asking. Whenever you go into a live stream, especially when you're new, watch what the other ones are doing. Take five minutes, get the feel of it and say, okay, they don't seem to be saying that I shouldn't. It's the best way to fit in. You always want to start off on a good foot because if you start off on the wrong foot, everybody sees it. Getting a comment deleted or timed out, that makes you stick out like a sore thumb. Just play it. Some you can. Some are going to, you, you can ask like for something until the cows come home and some you can't. Just pace yourself. Pace yourself. And another thing, for the love of God, I see people still doing this. Hey there, channel XYZ. Just dropped in your live stream because I'm going to be on in five minutes so can't come by tonight. Don't do that to anybody. I watched it happen again yesterday in like three channels. If you're going to be on the live stream, don't go on the other one. If you had a restaurant and your friend had a restaurant, don't walk into that restaurant and say, hey, how's it going? I can't eat right now because I'm selling hamburgers across the street half price. So <laughs> I can't. It's amazing how this is still going. I know the people know who are doing it. Know they're doing it. It's, it they, I mean, once in a while, everybody can make a mistake. But it's just so, oh, stop, please, I'm begging you. By the way, you the know. video where we all talked about that, about the ethics of YouTube and how to be good hosts, good guests on live stream is in the link in the description of the video. Uh, so go check that out. Uh, we laid it all out, so to say. Uh, it's really, really helpful. <laughs> yeah, Polly Vlogs, that was you. We were, we were gunning for you right from the get-go. <laughs> God yes, and Recycle Dude is streaming, by the way. <laughs> okay. Oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> uh, yes, Wood Pigeon Ador said that we are not responsible for any hearing loss uh, <laughs> <laughs> during our live streams. Uh, and Budget uh, Bushard uh, Ador has uh, proposed for you to do next uh, one in Auctioneer Voice. Uh, you know, the, the people shouting out names uh, one. Uh, we have a birthday. Oh, we do. Yes. Oh, hang on. Sorry. I'm just reading this because it's a long one. Do you know how bad it it makes me want to make a huge numbers post just for you? LOL. Just kidding. Seriously, y'all got to check out the channel, watch videos, leave comments, be a good friend. That's right, TriStar Travelers. You nailed it. You know this. You know how to do this already. You're ahead of the game. <laughs> and most are, by the way. Just before we sing the happy birthday, m almost everybody does. It's just every once in a while you'll see that. It, you know, it, it just it just drives me crazy. Oh, wow. Margie Yeomans. Hello. Thank you Margie, so much. You don't Marsh need Studios, both of you do so much for the community with beautiful hearts, such as a supporter who enjoys your content. Thank you so much, Margie. You You're don't have to amazing. do that, Margie. Very generous of you, and thank you so much. Hope you're having a good day. Thank you. You were, you were too kind to everybody. <laughs> yes. You should have a Marjorie day. Like, I swear to God, there should be a day just to set aside for you. Thank you very much. That's so sweet. It's just a pleasure to have you in here, and I mean that truthfully. Uh, thank you. Thank you. That was really kind. Wow. Thank you so, so much. Well, yeah. I think uh, it's time to sing that birthday song. All righty, let's Tammy do that. Tammy Minda, it's our birthday. All right, Min Tammy, I hope you had a great birthday because I don't know if this will make it better or worse. But anyways, you wanted it, you're going to get it. Alrighty. Hmm. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Tammy Minda. Happy birthday to Happy birthday, Tammy. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> I just like it because of the echo that I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, hope it's a good day. Yes, hope you have an amazing day. 
And uh, oh, thank you for the applause, Mickey. <laughs> you are too kind. <laughs> you are too yes, kind. Yes, uh, <laughs> and all the balloons and cakes for Tammy Minda today uh, uh, for her birthday. Thank you for spending some of it with us. We're honored for that. You know, that's something that I never take for granted. That we never take for granted. When somebody comes in and says that, how awesome is that? That people feel connected to you enough that they come in on their birthday, even if it's just for a little bit. That means a lot. So we're, it's our pleasure that we get to celebrate it with you. So That's right. And I think it's time to look at those uh, hashtag Blue Ridge selfies. Uh, uh, we are. You think so, so eh? Yes. Yeah. What do you think? Let's talk about <laughs> yeah, it. Let's talk about it. Let's, let's dis- discuss it. How does that make you let's feel, share. Andrew? <laughs> let's share. Oh, please, not the S word. Please, God help me, not the S word. <laughs> of all of everything that's uh, all right. Budget Bushcraft. Hello. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Thank you very much. You Thank you. And hello to Yankee. Mm. He's still shadowed. Uh, that is ridiculous. That is so ridiculous. If anybody doesn't know quickly, that's what's going on. Some channels are actually shadowed right now. And uh, they can go into streams as if they're banned from all streams, but they're not. It's in any stream they go to. They literally just don't have a voice. And that's one god awful thing. Yeah. You know, uh, I, I wish that instead of adding uh, more features once yeah. again, they would uh, start fixing the features that are broken right now. Because exactly. that has been uh, affecting more and more creators, actually. That's that, that really holds your channel down and it's not fair at yeah. all. Uh, Polyvlogs, what is the S word? The S word is share. We have to share our feelings, all that kind of stuff. That's what that's a big, bad S word. <laughs> The only bad S word on this live stream. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Uh, Thor, uh, Thor is so great to see you. Thank you so much, each and every one of you guys. If we miss you, please just say hi and highlight our name. We definitely want to say hi to you as well. And anybody who doesn't have wrenches, Xenia's uh, just going through and checking, guys. So have no fear. <laughs> Yes, that's right. Recy- recycled is right. The S word is soupy, so- soupy sales. Yes. <laughs> I knew you'd crack that one sooner or later. <laughs> with that said, guys, with that said, let's take a look here and see what we got. We've got budget bushcraft. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you are something else. Very thoughtful. It is. It is. What is in the background? Thank you, K Money, and right back at you. Uh, we mean. It's a picture of... It's, uh, it's a bunch of tie wraps. Yes, but it's a picture of it. Yep. Wow, this is original. I love Very that. Very prolific. <laughs> prolific, excuse prolific. me. Prolific. Yes, there okay. we go. What is going on tonight? Ever since I commented about uh, Hooked on Phonics again, you know. Cryptics, thank you so much for tweeting it out. Thank you very much. A's for Apple. Man, guys, we got 142 in the <laughs> chat. 143. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are awesome. Ashel the Great, Ashel the Great, how are you? Let's see what we got going on. <laughs> oh, awesome. Uh, Masking with Special Studios. <laughs> love that. Love that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you so much. You guys are so awesome. Guys, it's not too late. Please, and we'll check back periodically. Please put up your love to see your selfies. Here's the link again. A selfie of you watching us. And if you can't do that, a selfie of you. Oh, did I just hit the wrong button? No, I did. I, well, I didn't. I didn't. There you go. I'm gonna paste it in for you. There you go. And I uh, love seeing you guys. It's so it's so amazing. Uh, Forever Freaky Funko, right back at you. We're all in it together. And uh, thank you so much. Uh, I have a big white box on my cat. It takes up the screen. There you go. Just my fish. <laughs> <laughs> Glad your computer. Uh, uh, grab your computer or your smartphone and log on to Pusha Studios. Come and grow with a uh, YouTube channel with us. We, uh, thank you so very much. That is so lovely. Thank you so much. A beautiful picture and such a great message. Thank you. So awesome you guys take the time to do these. It, it is really cool. I want to thank Adam for tweeting it out as well. Thank you so, so much, Adam Fenix. Really do appreciate it. Then we have Ralph's Trucking and more. How are you? Great to see you, my friend. Uh, head to shave to make wife happy. <laughs> well, you're looking good, my friend. There you're all yes. nice and clean. Looking good, looking good, looking good. Oh, my God. Look at the channels keep coming. We're at 150, guys. Holy crap. You are, guys, crushing it. This, wow. This is the most we've ever had for a, a tube talk. I'm, I'm sure of it. For Tuesday Tech Talk, yes. Yep. Definitely. Uh, chalky Orange. Uh, should be asleep uh, like James, but I have my cup of hot chocolate and whipped cream, and I'm getting ready to watch Pusa Studios Tech Talk. That's right. And no sharing. <laughs> no sharing of that chocolate with James who's sleeping. 
God. Vexicore, this is just phenomenal. You always pick such amazing ones. This picture will be used for a special video that I'll be posting on February 20th. Beautiful. That is awesome. Thank you for giving us an early sneak peek to it. This is this is unbelievable. Forever Freaky Funko. Wow. Very nice. Very nice. Living in the stars, my friend. Living nice. in the stars. <laughs> that is really cool. Constellation of Forever Freaky Funko. I want to thank Mr. Rocker Vlogs. Thank you so much for tweeting it out, my friend. Really do appreciate it. And who's your back outdoors? So awesome to see you, my friend. Looking great. Looking great. Thank you Thank so much. You so much. Thumbs you, up to you. If you can go to our profile, I know Tammy posted her picture under our latest post. Uh, and that we definitely uh, want to show Tammy's picture on her birthday. Well, definitely. Yes. Most definitely. Where is she here now? I'm. A yeah, the post about Tech Talk Tuesday. Up. Yeah. And we click on it. Yeah. No. Nope. Right beside it. Click there. Yes. There. And we okay, see Okay, underneath. There. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> or Tammy's best friend. <laughs> My dog Ronnie says she loves watching you both. <laughs> Thank That's you so cool. much and happy birthday once again. Yes, I hope you have a fantastic birthday. And it's never too late to add your selfie. Hashtag Blue Ranch Group. We're going to be uh, keep uh, showing it off on the stream during uh, the show. Um, so please do it. Uh, it's a great way to show uh, your faces to everybody and also to connect with each other on Twitter. My God, they're coming in like crazy, guys. We'll go back and check in a second. Give everybody a chance. And we're going to start taking questions, guys, in just a second. We have 142 in here holding right now. I just want to go through and see if we can see some people that we haven't said hi to yet. Dipper Dudes, Magna Fishing, how are you? Great to see you. Let's see here. Destination Chronicles, SM Gamer, if we missed you. If we didn't, well, it's nice to say hi to you again. So, Tweety. Um, got your question, you got and we're going to start answering them really soon. Track Lady C, Riley Brock, uh, excuse me, we said hi to you, but it's always great to say hi to you again. Nomadic Bike is in here. There's my buddy. How are you? Uh, Grow uh, Canada 420. Great to see you back. Uh, Steel Craw, my God almighty, it's crazy how many people are in here. All. Uh, let's see here. So Texas Prepper, STP, good to see you. Good to see you. Hey. Uh, Henna Yasmin is here. Two Stroke Me is here. Uh, Just Pamela. Uh, and uh, and Uber, if we're pronouncing it properly, once again, I hope we are. Either way, it's so great to have you come by. And uh, yeah, guys, get your questions ready. Post them. Xenia is grabbing them. And then we're going to start just a second. AU Pack Meal. I think we said I do already, but you can never say it enough. So many great channels, guys. And I uh, hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. Like I said, this is our favorite night of the week because we really get to talk to you guys in the chat the whole time, and that's what's cool about it. If you're new here, once again, please hit that subscribe button. See all the things we're doing. You can see everything that we do, actually, listed in our About section. There is our schedule right there. We're on Sunday through Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern, except for tomorrow. No, tomorrow night we have a guest. That's right. That's right, 7 p.m. And Thursday we're on at 1 p.m. Eastern. That's when we do the Wheel of Shows. And once again, guys, we have one incredible guest for you tomorrow night. You do not want to miss. Fresh from, uh, oh, you tell them, exactly you're better. You would know this one inside out. Oh, uh, well, tomorrow we have amazing guests. There are two brothers, uh, creators. Uh, they are all in about branding, personal branding, YouTube branding. And they just returned from 368 uh, Offline Creators Forum, uh, which was very exclusive, open only to 100 creators at the location of Casey Neistat. That's they right. They just returned on the weekend, and we are grabbing them fresh off the trip and asking all the questions about uh, the newest and latest. And of course, uh, we're so happy to have them as they're shooting up. Uh, they are getting so popular. They have interviewed everybody, uh, even the owner of the Patreon website, who uh, supposedly is really hard to get mm. uh, so yes that's tomorrow uh, that's gonna be amazing method box if you haven't heard of them you will tomorrow and uh, yes guys just reminding you uh, like share and subscribe if you're new please ring that bell we would appreciate that a lot already guys got a couple more selfies we'll do quickly because they're here already we got Dave Dave how are you kick back great to see you my friend Let's uh, give you a heart. Thank you so much for the selfie. Looking awesome, guys. 
Dave Wagner, thank you so very much. Cool tattoos, by the way. I'm curious what they all look like. Uh, Diaf Diaphodils in Vegas? Is that yes. Diaphodils very in Vegas. Good. There, see, I, I, stage fright, stage fright. So much love to you guys, Diaphodils. Thank you very, very much. Now I'm going to say your name just because I can say it till I forget the next time. Love you guys. <laughs> And we got uh, Jason here, Woodpigeon Outdoors and Gills. How are you guys? All the way in Ottawa. Look at these. Look at. See, guys, there's where you put your merch on and show it off. Looking good, my friend. Yeah, that's new coming up. Uh, awesome. Love that. Looks awesome. Thank you so much. Always great to see you guys. Awesome people. Awesome people. Aaron's family, how are you? Great to see you. Thank you so much for the tweet. Looking good. We appreciate all the selfies, guys. Thank you so much. Looking awesome. Oh, my, oh my God. God. <laughs> oh, my God. Every night we get a selfie from Dave, and you never know what's coming next. And this is one of the <laughs> I wish Dave was doing Tech Talk tonight. You are so awesome, my friend. I'm telling you, he'd be like the coolest person to hang around with. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so funny. Oh. oh, my God, almighty. And then we have Tony's reviews. Are you checking? Yes, uh, I am. Busha Studios rocks. What a great photo, my friend. Thank you so very much. Love awesome. It. Thank yeah. you so much for joining us again. We really do appreciate it. Look, another one popping in, guys. So drop them on. And we'll definitely take a look in a few minutes. We got Eileen Villier. How are you? Great to see you. If you want to grow your channel, come on over with me to Pusha Studios. Well, how cool is that? Thank you. Thank you so much. That is so appreciated. Thank you so very much. Really appreciate it, guys. It's great for you. To, it's a great way for other people to get to know you better, to get your name out more. Uh, there's nothing but benefits out of doing it, and we just absolutely appreciate it. It's so cool you guys take it. And don't be shy. Comment under each other's pictures. Connect with each other. Expand yeah. your networks outside of YouTube as well. It's a great way, and uh, as I always say, one of the first tips of Tuesday Tech Talk if you don't have Twitter, make your Twitter account and expand your horizons you, there as well. Uh, don't keep all of your eggs in one basket. <laughs> we got to get rid of it. Okay. Uh, uh, that's and uh, <laughs> that's taken care of. Yep. So, uh, so um, I guess we'll start. Oh, Forever Freaky Funko. You guys are, you don't have to do it. Thank you very much. So kind of you. Thank you very, Thank very much. Thank you so much for every freaky fancos. Thank you. Uh, budget mm. Bushraft, I got your uh, question as well. Mm. Okay. Very good. Oh, well. Have a great night, Margie. Uh, you are so kind and much love to you. Thank you so much for coming. Really do appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, and just one more thing before we start answering already questions that are coming in. Is our merch available? Uh, hashtag Blue Orange Group. Uh, available on teespring if you haven't checked it out yet please do uh, custom made seamless patterns all from little blue wrenches from leggings t-shirts baby clothes socks mugs and of course our uh just blue uh section of hashtag blue range group merch as well available the link is up above and in the description as well check that out and if you do, please do a selfie. We do appreciate if you make a selfie in the merch uh, so we can see uh, yes. how it looks on you. <laughs> and I'm oh. sure it looks amazing. <laughs> Thank I you so, so much. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody, for putting the links in the chat. I do appreciate that as well. Uh, if you have a question in the t uh, about Tuesday Tech Talk, anything and everything, uh, put that in the chat and I'll try to catch it. We're going to try and keep it in the sequence it comes in. Uh, to keep fair, we're going to try. Don't promise. <laughs> mm. Uh, mm. So, um, yeah, well, we have some questions already ready. Are let's, we ready? Yeah, let's do this. Let's get to it, guys. Looking forward to hearing them. Hopefully we can help. And if we can't, I'm sure there's lots of great people in the chat that can help us answer them. So, uh, so, uh, so Rome, sorry. Hey, um, so Tweety was asking, do you think it's important for a channel to have their subscriptions public? I've heard people say they won't follow channels that don't, but not all I sub to are relevant to my content. I'm sorry, you have to read again because I caught this here just by the luck I seen it because I wouldn't know afterwards. Years of turd hunting gone wrong. Channel name change, J and C. JC Fishing? That's what I'm wondering here. The second channel? Don't know. 
We'll have to check that out. Okay, now. Yeah. So, <laughs> can we uh, continue with the question? I'm saying that because I know there's other people in here and they can verify that one right away for us. So, if they know them. So, okay. Let's, yeah, let's do this. Sorry about that, guys. I kind of caught that out of the corner of my eye. So, so the question was uh, should uh, keep subscriptions public or uh, private? Um, I know some people want uh, to keep them public because they want to know if you subscribe to them and, and that stuff. I uh, don't think it's such a good idea most times. Uh, for us especially, we didn't do it early on because we still have a business called Pusha Studios. And if you're subscribed to something that might, you know, either more left or more right, more, uh, uh, it depends. Uh, it, you know, it just might not be somebody's cup of tea and that's enough to turn them off from going to see what you do. And I truly believe what you watch is, you're right, you don't uh, put out a sign in your front of your house with a list of the cable or, or channels that you watch, you know, and kind of the same here. That's just my uh, opinion onto it. Some have different. Us for business, because doing weddings, especially in something like that, what happens if I'm subscribed to something more left wing or right wing, for instance, and their political views don't line up or their, uh, their own personal views of the channel that I like, that is sometimes enough to uh, lose a, a job because of that. So that's why we are adamant not to do so. Once again, everybody has the right to do it if they choose. It's not the end of the world. That's just our, I would say, our common opinion of why not to. Yes, exactly. But uh, I see, like Nero said, that uh, he feels that it's sketchy. Uh, so there are different mm. opinions on that. It really, uh, it really depends. Uh, I would say. Uh, now, K, uh, K money, K money. Uh, there is an instruction video down in the uh, video description. Uh, so check that out, and I will post it as well. Uh, okay, so politics kills the mood, iceberg. Yes. That's right. And very, it, very. And true. especially, like I say, for us with our like our livelihood dependent onto it, I would hate to lose it just because. For I don't. Know, I'm just gonna say because I like PewDiePie or iDubs or somebody's. Uh, you know. And they say, well, I didn't like what he said in the past, so we're definitely not going with them for our wedding. You know, you can lose a job that quickly because of something like that. So that's our main reason why. Um, okay, so the next question here is uh, Jenny uh, Marces was asking, uh, when you come in a chat, how do you greet the host? Um, I mean, everybody has their own way. It's nice. I think it's nice when you always kind of get your own kind of catchphrase to it just your own way that becomes more common and it's just oh, uh, for me it's just you know uh, uh, cheers to uh, cheers to witch on wheels uh, great to be here and uh, a big uh, or a uh, hi to uh, now you put me on the spot I'm trying to think as if I'm writing it down in order to chat you know good afternoon witch on wheels great to be here in the, and, and on your stream thanks for having me and cheers to all in the chat I always try to include the chat in with the hello as well. And if they have a panel, I'll always say, like, you know, hi there, uh, Jackie Herrera. Cheers to cheers to all you, the amazing to you, the amazing people on the panel and in the chat. You know, something that includes everybody. It's kind of a bit of an icebreaker, uh, opens things up. And I always try to say, like, at the end for myself, people say to us in different ways. My way of saying a lot of times is, you know, like, at the end, thank you for having me. Or I might say a bit earlier on, but just something polite, something friendly. And definitely remember to do say hi because sometimes mm -hmm. people are so, uh, you know, <clears throat> taken over by the goal of growing that uh, they forget even to say hi to the host, which, uh, you know, I mean, it's not insulting, but it's, it's just a little bit rude. It's the same as coming to the party and, you know, just uh, roaming through and, and never saying hi to the host of the party, right? Uh, so just just make sure you at least say hi to the host, uh, no matter how, <laughs> you know, at least at the minimum, say hi somehow, uh, definitely. A little welcome to life at home is back. Welcome back. And I just gave you a wrench. Great to see you. Uh, Vexicor, I got your question, and uh, we will follow up on that. Uh, Anima Flex Animations, <laughs> <laughs> pancakes or waffles? <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely waffles. Crepes. <laughs> oh, 
God. <laughs> <laughs> hey there, Mitten Dad. You rock too, my friend. Uh, welcome, uh, Scott. Uh, Scott oh, Victor just yes. just walked in. I love that. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us. You yes. guys know a lot about technical part of YouTube and uh, video editing as well. So yep. that's awesome. Thank you for joining us. So more than welcome to put your ideas in the chat. Once again, guys, this is a forum where we all discuss everything together. So please feel free to give your points. Just remember, guys, please, as a side note, please hit the like button. If you can tweet it out, that is really awesome. It helps us out a lot. Uh, Jenny, hey, hi, hello. It doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> I, all of them is greeting. So no matter how, the greeting is fine. Um, and uh, the video game maniac, we are right now just uh, Q&A with everybody in the chat. So if you have any questions about anything, uh, YouTube, photo, video, uh, go ahead and an ask. Or we'll all try to answer. I want to say a big hi to Gary Foster's because I missed you a while. It was so great to have you, my friend. And Cardoso Media says red or white wine, red wine, whiskey for me. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> <laughs> which on wheels? That's amazing. <laughs> Do you see the door? Don't lean on it. You will fall out. Push the studio stream just like I did. Oh no! <laughs> 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 yeah, if you do buffer uh, <laughs> refresh, my goodness. Oh my God. Um, okay, so the next question. The questions are coming in, and I'm trying to catch them all. Uh, Chalky Orange Wood Pigeon got your questions here as well. Um, oh, Thor's. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Yep. Okay, so the next uh, question here was uh, from uh, Cardoso Media. What camera do you use for photography video? Uh, looking to get a DSLR or mirrorless camera soon so I can start doing some commercial work. Yep. Yep. Well, do, uh, I'll do mine after. Yeah, so for photos, uh, I'm using SLR, and uh, I will tell you the reason why is because I think it provides the same... Well, almost the same quality as the full-frame camera uh, without the hassle of dragging it all over the place. Uh, the three, uh, you know, two, three pound thing that the DSLRs usually are because of the battery, because of the grip. It, it usually, to me, at least for now, what is out there is, ve is very bulky. And it depends what kind of work you want to do. If it's something that you're doing sitting down or you're, you know, waiting on a tripod, then it probably doesn't matter as much. But if it's something that includes more walking, like, for example, if it's travel uh, pictures, uh, hiking, for example, or traveling around, or if you want to do a wedding, I would really consider the, the size of it and the weight because, believe me, eight hours of doing a wedding with a DSLR, uh, you you gotta know what you're <laughs> what you're lifting there all the time. It's it's uh, especially especially at the beginning. It it takes a lot. Uh, so I just like it, and also it's just so easy to throw it uh, over your shoulder. It is there. You don't. Ha I don't like a lot of equipment with me at the same time. Um, so from that point of view, I would suggest those SLRs. Uh, it's just so many options out there, and they're so good. Um, and yeah, it's 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 almost as good as a full frame one. And if you shoot raw, that shouldn't be a problem at all. Yep. And uh, what would you suggest for the video? I myself, I shoot with the DJI Osmo. Uh, I have a little bit of footage here. Uh, it's uh, courtesy of Tom's Tech Time. I'll just show you a couple of seconds of it. I use the Z axis. Here we go. And this is what I shoot with. It is the uh, head off. That's the camera off the Inspire One drone from DJI. And he, as you can see here, it has a Z-axis attachment in the middle, and it, it's made for steady cam shots, giving you the four axis. It's a really great camera. It's not, I will be getting something else. It is time to, I'll keep it, I'll always use it, but it's not very convenient for fast shooting. That's the thing. Because if you see right here, it is connected to the, it is right off the drone, meaning that you have to use your cell phone to control it. But the shots for steady cams are amazing. I can really, even if you put it in the flashlight mode like he's got it right now, I use that. If you look back at a lot of my old videos, people ask me, what drone did you use? And I, it's because it gives that lift effect, not just a steady cam. It gives a bit of that float, which I really like. So in weddings, for instance, I have it on a long uh, rod. Uh, uh, the, it's one of the other attachments I bought. And then with holding that, I get about eight to nine feet in the air. And I can go along like in a church, for instance, I can get that overhead shot panning and things like that. So uh, that's what I'm using. I'm thinking about upgrading to a Sony as well that Xenia and I then can mix and match together. So 
Uh, if I do go into the SLR, I'll definitely be going Sony for that simple reason. I have been kind of lightly looking at the uh, A7, but we'll see. Time yeah. will tell. Uh, the only thing with Sony is that the, the glass is oh. pretty expensive. Yes. Uh, <coughs> um, I do like Sony, though, better as well. Glass is expensive, but once you know what you need, I mean, you don't need 10 different uh, lenses. So, it, again, it depends what you want to shoot. And yeah, so we'll be able to mix and match some of it, but she's right. The gloss is extremely expensive. Yeah, so wow. it's one of the more expensive ones, unfortunately. The Mitten Dad uh, is suggesting Canon SL2. Yes. We'd probably go Canon, except that Xenia's already set in Sony. So that's probably for us. But I will stay that way. But definitely, guys, please give options to each other. That's just what we like. I mean, uh, everybody uh, needs to, you know, uh, as many opinions, especially in answers like that, are, are greatly valued. So. And Gary Foster's asked about the Osmo Pocket. That I am definitely looking at. What a thing. I wouldn't even set up with the mic and that, but for B-roll and stuff like that, if anybody hasn't seen it yet, that thing is incredible. Yeah, we haven't tried it yet, and we have seen a lot of reviews, including Mitz and Dad uh, and Sony yep. uh, as well. Um I wouldn't say commercial shooting. It's more for the cu for the customer, like for B-roll, yes. But it's it's more consumer based. Uh, it's for consumer market more than it is for commercial, though. Yeah, but I I would definitely even I, you could get away with it in some. I mean, to a certain degree, but yes, you're definitely not going to get the the richest shots. But so slick, you could do your B-roll on that. Pretty, you know, just uh, catching all the odds and ends and that. It's pocket size. I'm trying to find a good picture of it to show everybody. Uh, I want to give the credit to the to the pictures from there we go like look at the size of this thing shooting in 4k and that's Mitten on a gimbal Mitten said it broke his iPhone I'll, uh, tell us more that's uh, interesting broke the charging contacts Wow uh, yeah let us know more because so far I have heard only good reviews even with the audio although the extension for uh, adding a extra microphone yeah. haven't even came out ha haven't come out yet so um, yeah, I, I would really wait and see probably and for again, uh, you know, so. uh, as for color profiles Cardoso if again if you are shooting uh, raw you should be able uh, to change uh, the color profiles in your uh, Adobe suite if that's what you're using uh, Which is very easily done and you can save it as a default so you don't have to change it every time you upload a new footage Exactly. Yeah, there's and there's tons of great overlay. I mean you can get them from Peter McKinnon and all kinds of people You know really great ones. That you yeah, can just but bring e the even just in a default in, inside the Lightroom For example, you can choose the profile uh, of the camera. I don't have to choose the one that you have You can choose a different kind uh, So sometimes that's what I do uh, and yeah, and, and it uh, it works so there's uh, all kinds of options in that part whether it's paid or for free You've got a ton of options to it, which is really cool I like playing actually with different ones. I don't like being set in just one. So yeah, uh, depending on the video, give it more of an 80s feel or, you know, uh, more vintage or newer. I don't shoot flat as much. I'm kind of uh, I think that fat is starting to fade a bit, too. I find it's starting to get a bit more color saturation back in videos. So I just want to welcome as well. Uh, Sky North, uh, Sky North. Excuse me. I just gave you a wrench. Great to have you in here. Who well, actually, if I've just seen right, it just hit 2,000. Congratulations to you, by the way. Hmm. Michelle says that uh, uh, got a job in a courtesy clerk front end clerk at the grocery store. Nice. Congratulations. You got it. That is excellent. Well done. And their mitten dad is putting in the video. Uh, when uh, Yeah, it, it apparently there's too much pressure on the charging points, which, uh, yeah, I can see that hmm. happening. Uh, interesting. Yeah, check it out. Thank you so much for the video. Well, that's interesting for sure. Yes, uh, definitely. Okay, so now we're checking one more channel here. Thank you so much for all the questions. Getting all of them here. Can't click on this, uh, but that's okay. Uh, okay, mm -hmm. so next question we have here. Um, mm -hmm. uh, Budget Bushcraft was asking, I got a message from Junk in Media about one of my videos on my other channel. Wanting to partner for that video. Should I do it? Oh, that's a scam. The video has over 300k views. Uh, well, well, that's where research comes in. Yeah, you should definitely Lots do homework. For, uh, my question is, why do they want to partner on the video that, that the, you already have? Yeah. That's my weird question there. Like, you have a very successful video. Why would you want to... 
Like I don't understand the partner part. On Where the it's going to be a plus to you, except for them taking it and 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 then redoing it, like refurnishing it as their own or something. Yeah. So without knowing exactly the details of it, it's really hard to say. What we also always say is do your homework. Check what is it. Who is it? Has anybody else worked with them? Where does it come from? Uh, do they require you to buy anything? Any of that? Because there's plenty of scammers out there. If it's not, congrats. Uh, <laughs> if it is, uh, yeah, please double check. But definitely ask yourself, why do you need it? With 300k views, uh, I don't know if it's monetized or not. If it is monetized, I, I don't really s understand why it would be needed on a <coughs> partnership for the existing video. For the future ones, yes, but for the existing one. Always think sure. of YouTube as real life. And most things that sound too good to be true or sound too bizarre to be used for you and proper and your benefit usually are. And, um, yeah, there's a lot of that going around, unfortunately. And that, you always want to check. Just take a quick look around if you want, just to make sure it's it's it, it, there's an odd chance it is on the up and up. But, yeah, something really fishy about that right off the get-go. Be careful. There is a lot of fake partner scams. There, uh, There's some that ask for fees. Yeah, exactly. Beware. They get your email address from your about section. Exactly, Mark Horn. And some of them even have algorithms bots that set off when your video hits a certain amount and that's when they come targeting you for it so yeah we, we just uh, air it uh, with a caution so to say uh that's all uh really yeah um <laughs> papa roams if it's not real life then i don't know what my fake life will be like <laughs> there's a s money people have stolen it to add it to compilation videos okay mm. yeah <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't, I don't wonder what kind of partnership it, it would be. It That's sounds like they're asking for the rights. They do that sometimes in, in the past. A lot of them like sold videos over like the, oh, what's his name? They're that Joey Salads and them. They were buying videos for 20 bucks and stuff like that and then take all the rights to them. And like, I mean, it doesn't it doesn't hurt to ask what what are the details of our partnership? Just ask right on and see what they say. What is this, what is uh, the terms of it? So yeah. to say, you know, um, so, yeah, it's in, uh, very interesting. There's a lot of a lot of dodgy links getting sent in videos also usually related to your channel. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, we have gotten some <laughs> some oh, yeah. emails about our uh, like uh, vlogging type things like, oh, senior video, uh, we are adding it to this and this YouTube network uh, uh, website, you know. Yeah. And uh, and it's when you check on it, uh, we have had like five or six in the last two weeks, and when you check it, it's a scam. So, uh, you know. Oh, you get all excited first, but <laughs> then you start checking and it starts to come uh, repeatedly. Then you understand it's just scammers. So That's right. 100%. Yeah. And don't answer to those either if they're a scam because that's what they're looking for too. Is there any kind of acknowledgement of that they are allowed to use your you know, video for something? All right. You got more questions? Uh, yeah, I have more. I just sent here a little bit of trouble with internet on this side here. I hope it's all good on yours. Uh, the next question here is uh, um, thank you Papa Rooms uh, how do you uh, uh, I answered Kmani uh, Vexicore I made a custom playlist but my new videos won't get in the homepage playlist why and that's also gets with a question of Ava's vlogs who asked how do you edit your front page oh okay uh, okay yeah I can do that. I can take we can take a look at that one for a minute here yeah so Vexi Cor and Avis vlogs listen to the answer of your questions okay there we go so right away we'll go to our home page just so for where you start off once you're in your home page you have those two buttons always there it's gonna be creator studio and customize channel you're gonna go right away to customize channel And it's going to take a minute to load because everything is going so slow lately. It's unreal. I don't know what's going on lately with you. With, uh, with, uh, uh, oh my God, I can't say anything anymore. I literally lost the ability to speak with Google Chrome, for God's sakes. So once you're on your homepage, you're here. And by the way, this is where you do all your editing for all your stuff. When we tell you to add your links and stuff like that in your about section, everything will be done here. You just go through the list. So you want to add a playlist. You go down to the bottom here. If you don't have as many, they won't be there. First and foremost, you can always get rid of them. Here's your pencil. If you have one there already, like we're always saying, you know, if you want to uh, adjust one, like change it vertical or horizontal or anything. And there's the, uh, is it here, the X? 
I haven't done this in a while. That's why I didn't want to do this because Xenia usually does the homepage. Uh, no, uh, you put a pencil and there you can add and, and delete everything. Which uh, you it want. isn't a delete. I yeah. didn't see it here. Oh, th yeah, there's the trash. Sorry, there it is there. So if you want to get rid of the ones that YouTube has given you, that's how you get to them. One, you, once again, you click the pencil beside them. And then once you're in there, click the trash. But we'll hit cancel for now. So wherever your last playlist is, you're going to see this. Add a section. From here, you're going to content. You're going to select. And we're going to go right down. Let me scroll this up so you guys it's can see. It's going to be the same with Mozilla. It doesn't matter. Yeah. So playlist, we're going to go to uh, create a playlist. And then down below, you're going to see all the playlists that you have right here. So you go over and you find the playlist that you want to add. So we'll just say, I don't know, uh, winging it. Uh, oh, yeah. Why does it do that? I forgot. <laughs> like I said, Xenia does it. She kind of put me on the spot here on this one because she usually does this lately. Yes, you caught me. I'm lazy on this one. Xenia usually does this stuff, kind of stuff. So. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, the so you wanna you can feature anything there. You can send feature videos or playlists or uh, if you do a single playlist, that's what you do. You uh, feature single playlist horizontal row, and that is gonna show up as all of the other ones that we have there. And where that's why I wouldn't oh uh, because it glitched. That's why I did it because it wouldn't let me pick. There we go. Now it's letting me do it. Okay, okay. There we go. That's okay. I thought I was losing my mind. Okay, enter playlist URL, or you can choose like, oh, you see, they're not seeing it because, oh, they're okay, now we got it up. There you go. So you go to find playlist, and now you can go down and pick out your playlist that you want. So say push the studio special, or uh, we'll take Tech Talk Tuesday since we're on it. We'll take Tech Talk Tuesday. You just select it from the drop down menu. It previews it there for you to show you what it's going to look like. You hit done. And there you go. You have your playlist. And then you can uh, move it up by uh, clicking that little uh, row button. Uh, that's how you move it upwards if you want to put it on top. And now, if you d uh, the question about VexiCore was that you didn't see her videos is because they probably are uh, added to the bottom uh, of the listing. You can actually go into playlist settings and change the way your videos are there. Uh, and that is in the playlist um, tab. Oh, I'll show you that. I'll take that out after. Oh, well, actually, I'll do it here. So there you go, guys. And if you want to get rid of one, it's the same thing. You just here, uh, click the pencil, click the trash, and it's gone. So it's just as simple as that. I haven't done these in a little while. So let's go to a playlist here. Uh, playlist. And I don't know which one. This one, I guess. Yep. Looks good. Here, you do it for a second because you're faster at this one than I am. Okay. Uh, and, and you can get there with different uh, in different ways. So we'll just customize channel. When you go to your playlist. And uh, here, you got to click on the title of the playlist in order to show it up this way. If you click on the thumbnail, it's going to show up just uh, the way to play it, not to edit. So you click on the title of the playlist. It's going to show up as an as a editable uh, playlist. You click on edit here. And here on the playlist settings. Give me that for a sec. I, I won't hit already about that. Guys, please, no self-promotion. Please, no self-promotion. And uh, in the playlist settings, you can actually change uh, the way it's automatically going in. You can either manually change the ordering or you can put it by the date added or the date published. Usually we choose it by the date published. Uh, so then automatically all the newer ones are going to go into that playlist and it's going to be on top of the playlist instead of disappearing. Also, you can just determine what kind of uh, uh, videos are going into that playlist automatically without you adding it so you can actually predetermine 
what is in the title or what is in the description or tags that would automatically um, in put them into that playlist without you even touching anything. Uh, so uh, yeah, and, uh, oh, and then the other way you yeah. can do it, you can just drag it like this, and 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 just change the order manually as well. As soon as you get to the left, you'll see that cross appear, and that's when you can drag yeah, them. Yeah, right there. And you can even do more on the other side. You have the options for more plus delete them out of the playlist if you choose to do so. Yes, there is more, and you can do it through here as well. And uh, one more thing, as I always was saying about the playlist thumbnail, uh, you see that right now our first video is also the playlist thumbnail, but actually you can change your thumbnail to be anything. Uh, so let's say I wanted this to be a playlist thumbnail, then I choose that to be a playlist thumbnail. It's not the first video, but it is our thumbnail, R uh, right? So the playlist, so you want to keep them consistent looking as well, uh, not only uh, as videos, but as for playlist thumbnails as well. I want to say hi to Brenda's Beauty Vlog. Herman the Great is in here. We got Rebecca C is back also. Father and Sons is in here. So many channels, guys, drop by. It's awesome to have each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much for coming. There, good? Is there anything else on that one? Uh, no, I think we answered that. Unless Vexi Core and Ava uh, has any more questions about that. There we go. I'll reset that. There we go. Uh, the video game mania cast uh, w mm, about the computer setup that we're using. Uh, computer setup, I can even post a link for it, but I built it this summer. It's a uh, Ryzen 2700X with 32 gigs of 3200 uh, RAM. It has a 1080 uh, uh, NVIDIA 1080 Ti uh, graphics card, uh, the, the mini one. It's in a small form factor. We made it because even if we travel to Europe, I can bring it in carry on with me. It's about the max I could bring carry on. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it in a nutshell for it. It's definitely built for editing. So um, and it's uh, proved quite well. It's nice now. It really sped up things a lot. So Tokyo Drew, how are you? Great to see you, my friend. Nice to see you. Uh, Oh, Homespun Geek, thank you so much. Right back at you, right back at you. Um, yeah, next question. Uh, Vexicor says, thank you. Uh, okay, uh, awesome. Uh, just my fish, got your question as well. Uh, so, guys, just a reminder, if you have any questions about anything about photo, video, or YouTube, let us know in the chat. And, guys, don't be shy. Put your answers in the chat as well if you... Uh, have any knowledge or skills you can share Bill please do please do okay so we have another question here uh, from uh, let me get to it uh, Wood Pigeon Outdoors was asking oh, what sorry I just got it up because I had logged back in they were asking there are guys in there's in short there's my computer there uh, everything except for the case is the same it's around the same size but I just went with it uh, thermal take so that's pretty much in a nutshell Sorry, I just took me a second to get in here to get this set up. So I'll just leave it on for another 30 seconds to 10 seconds, something like that. <laughs> and in the meantime, while Andrew is showing that off, I just wanted to let the new channel Philippines On Demand know that we are a live stream entertainment and educational uh, talk show channel uh, where we are doing live streams six times a week from... Sunday to Friday with interviews with celebrities and creators, Tuesday Tech Talk, and shout out Game Nights, uh, where we try to grow everybody together. All of that is on our About section, so go over and check that out, and hope we can see you back uh, real soon. And Riley had the day off from school. Riley Finchfield has had a great day, and it's cold. Yeah, it's cold here tomorrow. You're going to have another one off tomorrow. That is excellent. Congratulations. Nothing wrong with that. And a big thank you to Eileen Villiers who says we rock. She rocks. And I want to say a big hi to Eric Brown. And Karen Somers is off the bed because it's 2 there in the morning. Thank you so much for coming. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. And Alexia, we'll definitely get to your question. Have no worries. All righty. Uh, sorry to interrupt you. There you go, hon. Next question. A uh, question. Uh, <clears throat> no, I got to get back to that question. Uh, so Wood Pigeon Outdoors asked, what's your thoughts of the European Bill 13 they're trying to pass? Well, if they do, it's going to hurt all of us. It's going to make things harder. But in the end, I think what it's going to do is just boost the sales of VPNs. Anybody who doesn't know what a VPN is, it basically you can you pay so much a month or and your or uh, and you or a year, and you can use it to make your computer look like you're in a different country. And that's what I think is going to be the biggest change. 
But uh, the filters, I think, are going to get more stronger for copyright content and stuff like that. It's going to get a lot stricter. It's not a good thing for anybody, that's for sure. And uh, we have uh, talked about um, Article 13 in one of our past Tuesday Tech Talks, so you can go and check it out in our Tuesday Tech Talk playlist. Uh, we'll definitely uh, gonna go over it if it gets passed uh, again. There are free ones, Dicky, free VPNs, but they just tend not to be as fast. It depends what you're watching and stuff like that, but uh, just people will buy them and be done with it because you're always going to lose a little bit of speed every time you reroute it, and the free ones you just go through more rerouting through slower servers. When you pay, you get higher priority. But you're absolutely correct. There are free ones for sure. Um, there's it's gonna be really cold, Anna. Yes, uh, we're in Canada, uh, and it's gonna be going <laughs> up and down the slopes of deep freeze here. That's right. <laughs> Uh, oh, Kevin, Kevin the, the fam. fam. Hello, good to see you. <laughs> much love, much fr much love, my friend. Hope you're doing well. Great to see you. Uh, Venus the Gaming Plant, hello. Welcome. Uh, welcome here. Uh, we're definitely going to check you out as well. Uh, what do you guys think about Article 13? Have you heard about that? What's your thoughts uh, about uh, copyright? Uh, uh, some people say that YouTube is just trying to do it to uh, basically save themselves from paying out more money for copyright infringements. Uh, I really think it's uh, going to create more chaos. It already does for people claiming copyrights for the things that they don't even own. Mm -hmm. uh, like lots of fake copyright claims for music uh, that is not even owned by the people who claim it. Uh, just because of the way the copyright system is set up for YouTube. So it, it definitely will create chaos, um, at least for the beginning. What do you guys think about that? Uh, so Tweety says, I made a mistake of using music someone labeled as copyright free. And then once I uploaded the video, had a strike before it even went public. I had to redo the audio and re-upload. Uh, yes, this unfortunately happens. And we have talked about that yeah. uh, uh, last time. And I think every time we go and choose a tech talk is about how careful you have to be in, uh, when choosing uh, audio for your videos, especially when somebody claims it's copyright free. Oftentimes it's not. There's plenty of channels on YouTube that says that their music is free to use when in fact it isn't and, and or it is. But then a couple weeks later, it's not. That's why, for example, we are going with MU free music uh, solely uh, and exclusively. Uh, uh, his music are for free <laughs> yeah. and with a reference and you can go over to his channel. I'll put the link and it's in the description uh, and there's plenty of music there and we trust uh, it has been a long uh, lasting collaboration uh, so therefore we trust him uh, to to ha to have it copyright free but you definitely got to know what you're using uh, you can get strikes so easily we've also got hit with those scams as well and it's uh, we've used music from other ones like Ben sound music and stuff and then we get claims it's never a copyright strike it's a claim of course for profit sharing they want it all and uh, it's some company called like Seeky 25 or something like that and you look them up and they have no credentials and it's one badly laid out Facebook page. The problem is with YouTube to contest it, YouTube does not get involved in copyright claims. So you have to deal with it yourself pretty much for the most part. And that means going back to the person who uh, put the claim against you and ask and trying to fight your case. Well, if it's a scam already, they're not going to be too opening to discuss it with you and then they'll threaten you sometimes with a full copyright strike if you contest it. So. See, the third channel was JC No Limit. That's what I figured. That's what I was just making sure. That's, <laughs> like, <laughs> no, that's what uh, they're saying. Yeah, I just want. That's why I said I put it out there just to make sure we've been. <laughs> some people have done some dirty things to some good channels, so I just yes, wanted to make sure. Yes, it's better to double check. Unapologetically, Gomes, how are you? Great to see you. Great to see you in here. Good Hope you're doing well. You. Hope you can chime in with your tips as yes, well. Uh, you stuff. have uh, your tips on Saturdays. Uh, by the TV way, channel. I'm just putting the link in the chat for the video that you found of that uh, creator that has million subscribers. That's right. 3.3 .3 million subscribers, guys. And he got hit with the exact same scam as us. He is a, um, a music writer. Uh, at 3.3 .3 million, you're going to assume that he is quite uh, established in his field. 3.4. 3.4 4 million. <laughs> yeah, he's gone up another 100,000, so he's seen him. And the videos had almost like 2.8 million views. And he got hit with that exact same scam we were just talking about. Took him, and he has lawyers and everything, because he's a big enough uh, writer that he deals with copyright most of the time. So, 
uh, you see, the, 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 the problem with YouTube copyright is that uh, once uh, somebody c uh, claims a copyright uh, for music, it's not between you and YouTube, it's between you that's and that claimant. Yeah, that's what, what Andrew was saying. Uh, unfortunately, this is the problem, which can be extended uh, even more with Article 13, and I think that's what we all are uh, kind of nervous about. But we'll see, we'll see. Well, we don't know how it's going to work. And uh, if you think that you're not in Europe, it's not going to affect you, uh, it will. Uh, it it's will uh, gonna affect all of the YouTube, no matter where you are. So let's see how where it goes, where it lands. Moesha Grace, welcome. Good to see you in here. I'll get in between the sh uh, Gator Bite. Welcome. Great to see you. And if we missed any of you, just uh, highlight our name, say hi, so we don't miss you. So thank you for coming. Yes, thank you, thank you so much. And please, guys, remind you to like and share if you can. And if you're new, hit that subscribe button. We do appreciate if you do. Thank you so so much. Okay, well, uh, let's see the next uh, question here uh, is uh, Chalky Orange. Um, how beneficial do you think is to add subtitles to your videos? How, how beneficial? Yeah. It's always beneficial when you can. Everything, everything that we talk about, it shows that you put more work in your channel right away will get you more points, especially when we're up and coming. But something like the subtitles helps also because it helps branch it out and they it like opens you a different audience or somebody who likes to just kind of uh, watch while they're doing things, you know, or they watch at night, they're listening in, they use subtitles. It, it is it does add points in the algorithm for sure. Definitely. And we had a uh, we had um, a tip from a person uh, because we were wondering, especially because of the videos that we had in the past, how we started our YouTube channel, if you don't know, is actually was with the cinematic videos that Andrew has created. Uh, there are event videos. There are uh, travel videos that are cinematic. Uh, there was no live streams whatsoever. It was Andrew's content there. And oftentimes it just was music. Nobody was talking. So our question was, well, how do you do, uh, uh, you know, annotations? How do you do captions for something that is not talking there? And uh, the tip was from uh, uh, somebody with a hearing uh, impairment that you can actually put in the mood of the music. So even if there is no talking, put in the brackets the type of music that it is. Like, is it upbeat? Is it positive? A great you know? example of that is this uh, uh, acapella group from uh, Slovakia that did a cover of uh, Rosanna by Toto. And they start off and they even do like the clapping and the thunder, like they mimic it. And it says rolling thunder, loud claps, uh, strike a lightning. You know, you just set the mood for it. Basically, like as if you were reading, a st you know, when you read a good no uh, book, I don't read a lot. <laughs> I'm, I'm awful at that. So people have told me that, uh, you know, like, but I'm all kidding aside, certain, there's always certain lines that really set the mood that paints it in a picture in your head. Do that with the music for somebody who can't hear it. And it's not just for people who are, can't hear, but people who just have the sound turned off a lot. You know, they might be at work, like looking or in the evening. Mm -hmm. I, I sometimes turn it on when I have trouble understanding, for example. Sometimes it's hard to understand certain accents or if a per person is talking fast. So uh, I sometimes even use it as well. So it's definitely beneficial. Uh, there was a still question about the copyright and uh, just wanted to get back to it. Uh, Destination Chronicles asked if I use my husband's music, which he has copyrighted and someone claims it as theirs, can I just show the copyright to YouTube? Um, this is an interesting question yep. because it's not he it doesn't he doesn't own the channel you do you don't own the copyright he does does he own the copyright or does the studio that he recorded in does yep. because we had Sonny Greenwich who he's a, a professional musician as well and he had had copyright claim against his own music that he had recorded yeah um, we talk about the most famous case of all time was John Fogarty, the singer of Cleeton's Clearwater Revival, who left the group, went on his own, and was actually sued by the record company who owned the rights to Cleeton's Clearwater Revival music, was sued for sounding too much like himself. That's how ridiculous these claims can work. But that's also the one that set the precedence for what we have today. It at least gives them breathing room. But that's an honest-to-God true story. You can look it up. And so rights are very tricky and there is a lot of great make sure you do have the rights and if you ever get hit with it you would, you will have to show it because if it ever gets picked up by another album or anything like that they could intuitively grab the rights to it without you even realize some, your husband realizing sometimes in the paperwork always make sure you stand that you understand exactly who owns it and every sense of the word and have proof ready 
bestest paper format that if you ever do get hit, you can send it in right away and prove that you do you are the right uh, holder to it. So. Yeah, and if you do, then you're fine. Then mm. you have a proof, and that's what you should be then emailing them back if you get any problems with that. Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, so I I'm grabbing you guys as uh, uh, yes I'm gra- uh, grabbing you guys as questions here as well. Uh, so no uh, fretting there. We're gonna get. Uh, yeah, to yeah I just want to say, make sure I wanted to tell everybody because there is some saying hi, and now I've missed them because it's passed too far. But please just say hi again, like uh, MSL logging. Uh, who else? I want all you guys never to feel that we missed you guys by any chance. Going on, Grumpy is in here. Uh, Master B is in here. Actually, we haven't even checked lately. Let's just see, guys. Just do a check. We got 140 in this chat. This is like I say, the, I can't believe this, this is our best we've mm-hmm. ever had. Best we've hey, ever had for Tech Talk you Tuesday. We've been talking about that all week. Yep. It means uh, a lot. <laughs> Jason says, I guess uh, the best uh, safe uh, use of music is from YouTube Music Library. Yeah. Yes. And I mean, uh, the, you can still use popular music too, which, by the way, you can also double check in the uh, YouTube yeah, music. I was, I was just going to show them that. I can show them that right away. Actually, I'll bring that up. Because that's a very important thing to know, guys, so we can show you exactly where to check. And this is really important because it only takes a moment and it can save yourself so much heartache down the road. There we go. I don't know why it's not working there. We'll just do it from here. And it'll load up in a second. I don't want to show everything. That's uh, everything. Some things are a little private, but I'll give you here. Here we go. Now I got it where you can load. All right. So when you go into your creator studio... You have your live streaming, your dashboard and all that. Right at the bottom, you have create. And there's your audio library. So if anybody doesn't know where it is, this is where you can grab music, guys. You can search by genre, mood, instrument, duration, and uh, attribution. Attribution attribution not required means you don't have to write anything. Attribution required, it will tell you in there what you have to write. You know, uh, uh, this music, uh, there you go. Let's just try this one here. Feel free, you have to copy this part here and paste this basically in your chat from the light strike by Kevin McLeod. Not the top one, it's just selecting it now. But you have to put that in your video. So uh, they're good. there's some good music into it. But remember, and this is very important what I was going to tie into in a moment, but I'll tell you this part right now. Remember that this music is only licensed to be on YouTube. It's not licensed to be on Facebook any other platform that is a very important key to know so eric the red how are you my friend great to see you always great to see you thank you so much for coming by (laughs) thank you you always make my day always good to see you hope you're doing well cruiser mac how are you good evening to you so under audio library guys is music policies and when you click on music policies you can look up any song And here's one right here. Let's see by Dr. Dre, the next episode. This song is not available for use in YouTube videos. If you use a song, you may be blocked or muted. That means you have a good chance of getting a copyright strike. Save yourselves. I still recommend staying away from popular music. It's just not worth it this day and age. And these things could change depending if the rights are sold to another company or anything like that. But if you must, you feel the need. And we'll just take a look for a second. Uh, uh, Oh, uh, well, let's try Wasted Years. Because usually that one's not even Wasted Years uh, by Art Maiden. Because I was going to use that one time in a video. That's why I remember that one. So there you go. Iron Maiden, Wasted Years. I want to use that song. I type it in. If you use this song, the song is blocked in 249 countries. And you cannot monetize the video. If you perform a cover, and this is important too, if you do a cover of it or carry out anything like that, playback is viewable worldwide. And you're eligible for your revenue sharing. That means right away they're going to get the revenue, but then you can apply to try and get some of the revenue for yourself. But it is a lot. That's one thing that can change at any time. That song could be bought by another record company tomorrow, and they just block any use of it on here. It is that simple. It is that quick? It can change. So on once again, guys, under your creator studio, right down at the bottom, music policies. If you insist on using it. Take two seconds to look it up before you get a copyright strike. And you get a copyright strike, you can't live stream for 90 days. You can't uh, you can't uh, live stream for 90 days. You can't, um, you'll get hurt in the algorithm sometimes from it. You know, especially if your channel is heavily based on it. That's the biggest part. 
Oh. Slaughter's got their 4,000 hours this week. Uh, your tips were a huge help. Well, congratulations. Very well done. Very, very well, well done. Well done. Good job. Thank you so much for supporting us. But uh, all yeah. the uh, love back to you and congrats. That's you didn't need to work. give money. You could have just told us. <laughs> We'd yeah. be just as happy for you. Thank you very much. It was kind of you. But that that is awesome. Four th that's the hardest one, guys. There's a 1,000, 4,000 rule. The 4,000 is a lot harder for most people to get. So. Yes. Definitely. Uh, uh, if you look up Fireball by Pitbull, it says it can be worldwide and ads can appear. Does that mean that they may show ads or that if it was monetized, I could show ads? No, they will show ads. Yeah, and it will go to them. Yeah. That's right. Uh, also, there was a question with regards to copyright from Gator Byte. Thank you, Unapologetically Gomes. Thank you so much. About uh, uh, using TV shows. Uh, she used uh, 30 seconds of 90 days. Uh, uh, fiance, by the way, I like that show. <laughs> Guilty pleasure, uh, and and got uh, uh, got the share monetization. I think strike yeah. uh, a warning. It's not a strike. Uh, yeah, uh, fair use is a very interesting question, and usually thirty seconds is way too long for referring something. Uh, they say seven second ish. You guys want a good example? I was just thinking this the other day because we've talked about this before, and I thought of it the other day. What a great example! If anybody's ever watched. Oh, thank you, Jeep Things Outdoors. Thank you very much. That's much appreciated. Thank you so very much. Uh, you want a good example of how much you feel safe in showing of somebody of a major clip like that TV or uh, television? Phil DeFranco. You ever seen the middle one, Phil DeFranco? He does his opening news and all that, and then he talks about this, you know, the stuff I like and how quickly that all flies by. There's a reason why, because he desperately does not want a copyright strike and to deal with the mess of it at his size at multi-million subscribers. That's about where you're comfortable in showing somebody else's work. Fair Literally. use is, has to be a, a reviewing. It yeah. can't be just showing something. You have to review it as you do. Like, And it is very, very iffy, the fair use in general. But usually a good thing is not to use <laughs> if you're small or use very little uh, because it doesn't matter that you didn't put the sound in. It's not the sound that they are copying. It, it's the clip itself has a coding in it uh, that copies whatever is uploaded already uh, that they, they that they have copyrighted. So it doesn't matter sound or no sound. It still matches it together. But fair use, fair use, you got to remember something. When you're dealing with major networks, it's... Yes, there's a fair use rule out there, and they're a lot harder on it than anybody else. It's a lot different than like uh, H3H3 pod, uh, showing parts of a video and doing like a commentary on it. Whether we like it or not, it's not so fair. They, uh, Fox and them do not like their content on here, and it is very hard to get away with it. So, And it yeah. really puts your channel on. Like Nintendo for gaming is just awful You're because welcome. they are striking everybody. Uh, you know, so really, yeah. Cardoso Mini, you have a great night. Thank you so, so much for coming. Yeah, Nintendo, they just take all the money right off of it. If you show anything, even if you do a 20-minute video on 20 different games and one of them is Nintendo for 30 seconds, you just lost all your monetization. They're taking it all or hitting it with a strike. Exactly. Sure. How are you, Sure Productions? Yes. Uh, good to see you. Adjust my fish. I have won every single copyright claim on my channel. That's great. But it's always just that it's always a roll of the dice, you know. Uh, I took your advice and made a Dotto uh, uploads on channel and it works well. See, I somebody else had said that tonight and we've been getting feedback on it. Everybody's doing it is getting some uh, good response on it. That's awesome. Uh, ultimate fishing uh, fish. Keep showing. Well, have a great night. You take care. Be well. I got a strike for your reaction to uh, uh, Master B says I got a strike for a reaction to Godzilla. Luckily, I'm nowhere near 1,000 yet. I disputed it one. That's the thing too. You can win. It's just always you, you know you're always in a bit of that jeopardy. And back to music a while ago. There are places that you can pay so much a month and uh, you have access to music and you're not going to get hit in that. Please remember to read the fine print. Because some of them are only covering you as long as you are a member of their channel, of their uh, company. And once you decide to cancel your membership, all of a sudden you get whacked with a bunch of uh, uh, copyright strikes or copyright claims. So uh, definitely, definitely uh, use with caution. 
Next question. Uh, oh, sorry, you're the last. Yeah, mm. uh, just uh, answering some of the c- uh, shorter questions in the chat as well, so then we can t- have more time into longer questions. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Uh, so the next question uh, is. Um, <laughs> Uh, how do uh, from Wood Pigeon Outdoors? How do you feel about YouTube cracking down on external links in videos? <laughs> okay, uh, this is a misconception yes. again. Okay, <laughs> uh, this is not cracking down on external videos, and this has also always been a legend. Don't put a video. Oh, don't put the links to the other uh, websites in the chat. Don't put it in the description. You know, God forbid. Uh, YouTube don't like it. Uh, that's not true okay uh it's a legend it's the same as with saying a sub word in the chat it's a legend what they're talking about is a links to the third party sites that promote uh or portray uh, uh violence uh, you know pornography uh sexual violence harassment and so on it's outlined right in the community uh, guidelines, also in the video upload guidelines, and that's exactly what they are talking about. They're not talking about any video links. They're talking about those that would eventually promote these type of things that are against the rules to begin with uh, on YouTube. So you can put the links in. It's not against the rules. Mm. Okay just depends where where are they leading you can't put the links that are gonna lead to spam that's also against the rules yeah okay so spamming violence uh, sexual character harassment those types no uh links to affiliate please do links to twitter please do links to your website please do okay so there, and by the way, nothing has changed. It's just uh, the rules are getting. And also on that part too, I think a bit of your, it's ones that are leading off the platform. And like Linus Tech Tips was a great example. Got hit of the, they'd make a one minute video because what they do is every Friday they do a live stream, but they don't do it on YouTube. They do it on Twitch, and they made a one minute video telling everybody, okay guys, we're on Twitch. Link in the description. We'll see you there. Once that was done, they would they were recording it. Then they would uh, upload it on YouTube, and they got hit for it. So you're not allowed to lead people away from the platform to go to a competitor. It's a bit of a gray area, cause, but that also, too, I think that was maybe I wasn't sure maybe it was meaning that part. Yeah, no, I mean, it's it's kind of goes under spamming because mm-hmm. you kind of you kind of put the link for something that will not guide them back at all. Like it's it's a, it's in a way it is spamming because it's advertising something that is not even ve- like, you know, he's not making those live streams on, on YouTube. Mm. Uh, so that 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 kind of part, but people sometimes think, well, you can't put, uh, you know, GoFundMe links or something like that. No, it's it's not true. Yes, YouTube likes more that if you stay on the platform. Yes, it likes it's that you, more time you spend on somebody's channel or uh, in general on YouTube, the better they like your cha- uh, like your channel, right? The more you make people, the viewers stay around you, the better. But it's not gonna strike you. It it you know. Mm. It's it's not against the rules. Um, sorry. Yeah, guys. Uh, yeah, please no self promotion and, and instead just uh, be good to other channels and they'll be good to you. So, as a side note. Uh, the same as I just uh, uh, added about the subscribers, and we have talked about that before, it, that it is a legend that you can't say sub or subscriber word in the chat or in the comments uh, or talking about it, which yep. again is a legend. Yeah. And why? It's context. Everything exactly. is in context. If you go into a channel, sub, and there's where people think they fooled it. I think it's like, don't say sub, don't say sub. Instead, say flying outhouse doors. The algorithm knows by continuation right away what you're going at. You can call it corn cobs. You can call it coffee tables, whatever you choose to call it. It's that pattern. And if it's saying coffee tables, coffee tables, coffee tables, coffee tables, I coffee tabled you. Did you coffee table me? It knows right away. You can't fool it. It knows there. You YouTube coined. If you go to anybody's channel who you've never joined yet, guess what that word is? Subscribe. It's written right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don't that red button. What does it say? That's right. They <laughs> made it. But you can't say that. You have to say, you know, I, hey, uh, good to meet you. And I just subscribed to your channel and that. It's fine. It's not going to do. It's not going to trigger anything any more than any other word. It will actually do less because if you're using it the right way, it's not going to bring up those things. Thank you, Dotto. Uh, no sub for sub. Exactly. 
Exactly. And sub for sub is where you get that. Sub me 22, sub you this, sub you this. I hugged you. You hugged me back. I'll hug you right 22 in the chat. It's all the same thing. It doesn't matter what you call it. It can tell within moments what you're up to. That's right. So all is within the context and uh, in the in it, especially in the video comments, guys, try to leave comments with regards to the video. Mm. Help the creator. The more you're talking about the video itself in the comment, the actually more it helps as interaction and uh, reaction to yep. the video instead of putting numbers in there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh, the numbers thing drives me crazy. Oh, I my. <laughs> oh my God. Yes, yeah, Sub for Sub can get your channel removed. That's yes, right. That's very true. Uh, <laughs> just because uh, somebody subscribed to you doesn't mean that you have to subscribe back. Yep. That's not, we are never promoting that here. Uh, if somebody chooses to do that, that's their own uh, choice to do it. Uh, uh, it's your choice. This is not kindergarten. We don't, we don't basically, we don't allow it to happen on our channel wherever kids can get it. But if somebody chooses to do that, that's their choice. They're really missing out on the whole point of it. But we don't let it happen here whenever we catch it. And you'll see. The second part is this channel and other ones that, that don't want that happening. You'll see what happens when somebody comes in asking for it that they don't get much support whatsoever mm -hmm. because people aren't watching. They get annoyed by it right away. It's like, buy my, you want to try my bricks? I sell bricks. You want to buy my bricks? You want to sell my bricks? I'll buy my bricks. Buy my bricks. Buy my bricks. Who wants to do it? I'll buy your bricks if you buy my lumber. Only way I'll sell you. Only way. Only way under God's green creation. I'll take them as if you buy something from me. It's another real world example. So, <laughs> you know. uh, uh, <laughs> uh, brother Don, hello, good to hey. see you. How are you doing? Hope you didn't freeze skiing. <coughs> awesome to see you, my friend. <laughs> uh, good to see you, uh, Scott's journey. Hello, electronic circuit. Uh, hey, 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 hello. Uh, good to see you too. Uh, well, let's get back to the questions. I still can't believe how many we have in here tonight for Tech Talk Tuesday. It's done well before, but never like this. And I'm so happy because, like I say, guys, this is Xenia and I's favorite day of the week. It really is because this is when we get to mingle with you guys the whole time. Very true. Very true. And so thanks to you guys because I've seen yep. so many amazing tweets and, and you know, comments on other people's uh, uh, pages and, and, and very nice comments, not just spamming with, you know, come, come. But uh, nice suggestions, referrals to us. So thank you so much. So thanks to you. West Haven, thank you so much for tweeting it out. Really appreciate it and great to see you. And a uh, big hi to Gussie. How are you doing tonight? Uh, also, uh, Master B says it, uh, push says it doesn't work at all. I saw someone with 7K supporters and their highest video uh, viewed video was 578 because all they did mm -hmm. to get there was support for support. I, I myself can't stand it. That's You've heard me tell that to a channel last week. You know, they come in here and they, they got up on the board and you look and there's nothing there. There's nothing in the about section, no banner, nothing. Now, channels do start out, but this channel had like 500 and some subscribers. And it's like, unless you want to just go from channel to channel like this growing, you might as well give up because the algorithm will never recommend you to anybody. How can you recommend something when there's nothing to recommend? You yeah. know, oftentimes there are like channels was like, five views and you know 10,000 subscribers well something is desperately wrong there you Ex know exactly so uh yes definitely don't dig yourself a big uh, mm. <laughs> uh big hole so to say with with that um also stay one, warm brother done one thing talking about sub for sub and i wanted to mention that and often people forget about it uh sometimes there can you know there are groups of people that say, okay, well, uh, some, you know, so you subscribe to each other and then you watch the video uh, and, and, and leave the comment. If you don't intend to watch the video as a viewer, maybe don't watch it. Why? Because if you only watch the video as long as it takes to leave a comment that consists of one sentence, you're actually doing disservice to the uh, to the creator because uh, you're watching a very small portion of the video yeah. uh, and then clicking away from it or closing it, which then tells AI, you know what? People are bored. Mm -hmm. People are bored. They don't like this video. They think it's boring. They're clicking away from it. Uh, so even if you think that by leaving a comment, you're doing something good, you're actually not. So unless you intend to watch, uh, with interest most of the video or leaving a good nice comment yeah. don't do it. it it's doing worse than than better i know guys there's a big push with a thousand four thousand and i mean even us we got inspired by it, it wasn't because of that it was because of peter mckinnon's speech about it actually i wasn't too familiar because i'd pretty much given up on youtube by then but 
retention time is probably the most important out of all the things we've said. And I bring up A. Joe as a great example of that. He had 500 subscribers. He was getting 1,000 views on every video he did. And heavy retention time. People watching right to the end. Him doing that is a way better than a channel with 10,000 subscribers getting 1,000 views. Because his, his watch time was, his engagement time was so much more than the others. And that's where your channel gets wealth. That's where the algorithm lights up and wants to put you places because you, you're you showing that pattern of people like what's going on. And if so many people are liking it, actually double his subscriber count or liking what he does, how many more people are going to enjoy it? They're going to send it. Where the thousand, uh, 10,000 subscribers that got the exact same thousand views and say only got 20% watch time before people left. It's like ugh, another day at the farm. And, and you know what? Not even that. People just didn't even really want to see it. So. You know, yeah, it, it's really important that, that I don't want anybody to ever lose focus of how important it is to have retention time. Yeah. And a question about what is a good retention? You want to go to around 50 percent, which is good. It really depends on the size of the video. Uh, uh, obviously, uh, the shorter the video, like the short video should have more retention to it. Like three, four minute ones should have longer ones. And then if you have a longer video uh, or a live stream, uh, it's around 50, 40. Uh, your ideal uh, so to say uh, uh, but yeah that's what you should be striving for and really if you're using YouTube be beta now especially with live streams for those of you that are live streaming it's it's really easy to see uh, where are the dips because you can yeah. actually you can actually go second by second uh, see the view uh, count how how it varies and replay it back for the next time when you do the live stream or the video to actually see what was happening what were you talking about what was interesting what wasn't uh, and uh, that's a great feature there. It's, and you're going to find out a lot of times you do have a pattern, even if you weren't planning it. Yeah. And it's going to be when you when you go into a next topic the way you did it or, uh, you know, something happens at that time or a segment that you've created that's not doing very well. And be open to the criticism to yourself, guys, because on YouTube, we're basically like a, a self-employed business. And we have to be our own worst critics. And we have to look ourselves honestly in the mirror by time and say, I thought this was going to be great, and this part is just not working. You know, either I got to change my message, or this message isn't going to go, and it's time to find a new way to do it. I want to say a big hi to Mister No. How are you, Mister? Always a pleasure. Great channel, Muscle Car Appraisal. Great to see you as well. And I also want to make a nice welcome here for Chaos and Order, who just started a new Mukbang channel, and has been engaging, and uh, just was talking about where. Our point before and said oh wow that makes so much sense uh, so glad to have you in here you have a wrench the same as everybody else some have 20,000 subscribers some like you just starting out you're all equals in here we appreciate all questions and is keeping a list of them and we're trying to get as many as we can together and it's great to have you and I I, I love seeing somebody like that right off the bat getting into it you mm -hmm. know getting involved in that these are channels that really have a lot of promise of getting somewhere but always take a note, and I'm just going to bring up one small example. We had a guest on Bruce, uh, Travels with Bruce. He has, uh, what, 7,000 subscribers. And he brought this amazing point into it. When he started his live streams, he would talk and say hi to everybody. You know, he'd go about 40 minutes going all through these things. Then he'd get down to the travel news. And then a few said, we love what you do. You're interesting. I just don't have the time to watch all of it. Can you please just cut to the meat first and then the plights after? And... There's a great example of there was nothing wrong with his message, but there was the way he was saying it and he considered it and then he started doing it the opposite way. So you go in and say hi to everybody. Welcome. Great to have you in maybe for a minute. And then you jump right into what was covered that day. Then when it's all done, then he mingles with the crowd and it actually helped build up his retention time more because he got those people that would leave because they couldn't wait around for it. Now we're staying. So he had them for the half hour, 40 minutes, whatever time it took to talk about what he had to say. Then they go off, but they're still the ones who want to mingle. So it works better for everybody. So sometimes just adjusting can really help you out a lot. So uh, I would think live streaming would be the way to go with monetizing goals. Uh, yeah, Eric, I agree with you. I know we're jumping questions. Eric was one who always took me to task. And I love Eric. He'll always be my, uh, <laughs> I'm proud of that. Because when I first met him, I, he said, oh, you know, I don't do sub things and the sub for sub. And I'm like, listen, just come over and check us out and see what you think. And we've become good friends through <laughs> it. And I appreciate that because that's somebody I feel I always want to feel, I hope. And I'm pretty sure I do. And the mutual respect between both of us. 
And that no amount of money could ever pay for that. How good that feels to have something like that. HSFL Paranormal, by the way, great to see you. Do live streams if you want to build up towards your 4,000 hours for monetization. But unless you're ready to put work into them and make them good live streams, then it's not worth it. Don't go on just to get that monetization. Don't hold the phone up and... Yeah, I've been uh, wanting to build a YouTube channel for a while. You know, I'm going to make a couple of million bucks off this thing. And I'm gonna do it. If you're doing that, don't bother. People are going to hate it. N nobody wants to have their time wasted. And it's bad enough when you do it with a five-minute video killing time. Imagine when you do it for an hour with somebody. You've got to make it entertaining. You've got to show respect for your audience. You've got to give them something to walk away with the same as they would watching one of your videos. If you put integrity into it, it is a great way to do it. It's a great way to connect. Even if you do videos, you can do them in between. Connect with your audience, you know, maybe do questions and stuff like that. But uh, just use it wisely. Getting very busy, nonstop work. Oh, I know. Uh, yeah, that's what I was saying. I was seeing you're getting live streams, regular live streams mm. now with guests and all of that. Good to see that. Good to see that. Well done. Well done. Uh, yeah. So... Um, uh, Marcel got your question. So let's get back to the questions. Um, oh, I didn't get it copied. Uh, ba, 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 ba. There you go. I'm loving that you guys are enjoying this so much tonight. I love this. Yes. Uh, no, I love, that's that's why it's, it is one of our favorite live streams. Please hit the like button, guys. And if you're new here, please subscribe. Please tweet it out and tell friends. Uh, thank you so much. I just forgot. I haven't said that bit. We've been having so much fun. Cardoso <laughs> <laughs> uh, Media asked, uh, what are your thoughts on selling stock photos and videos and websites like story blocks? And video blocks could be a good source of income for footage just sitting, uh, sitting on, on old hard drives. Yes, definitely. Uh, double check what are the uh, small uh, small print. Yeah. Uh, I'm not with either of those, or, although I have checked them. Um, my pictures are on Getty Images and Shutterstock. Um, yeah. Yes, uh, the, o <laughs> the only thing in order for it to actually be noticed, that's uh, all the whole work uh, in itself. Uh, you have to, again, tag it. Uh, it's almost like YouTube. You have to know how to name it, how to tag it properly, uh, how to describe it properly to actually be found. And just uploading is uh, most likely it's not going to do anything. Uh, so if you are ready to do that, at least at the beginning, then yes, definitely do that. There's plenty of, I'm sure, footage and especially videos because they pay more mm. uh, that you could use for that and might as well sell them. Definitely. Uh, just uh, read the fine print and it's not so hard to get into Getty uh, or Shutterstock which would pay you probably more I would assume than Storyblocks uh, just because they are bigger uh, mm. just assumption uh, but double check Tony welcome by the way I see you're part of the pop community we're connected with so many of them it's great to have you in here sorry we have a list of questions we've been adding them in and getting to them uh, Cardoso Media actually left, I think, like 20 minutes ago. That's how far behind we are into them. <laughs> but it's still a good question to ask for anybody that's uh, answer for anybody in there. So we are trying to get to all of them. We do apologize. We're going as fast as we can. Um, okay, so then uh, the next question here is, uh, do you know how to add an existing poll to a new video? Uh yeah, you just uh, save it as a template uh, as of, of the card and you just use the same template uh, from that previous video uh, when you add the card to a new one. So instead of creating a new card, you use uh, one of your old video's cards, uh, you know, and, and that, that's how you do it, basically. Mm -hmm. um, uh, do, 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 do. Yes, so uh, a tag question. It's a bit bigger one, so I'm gonna push it down a little bit, guys. Okay, no, Jackie, J Jackie Jacks, you're never late. It's great to have you here. We are gonna talk about tags, and it's just gonna take a little bit more time, so I'm gonna push it down a bit. Okay, uh, what do you think about the generic comments that people leave that have nothing to do with your video? Awful, and also, how do you respond to those? Delete them most times. Uh, on, if they're anything spamish, just delete them, they, they do no value to your channel. Yeah. Uh, Spam, delete. If there's something loved your video, you can leave it uh, and just say thank you. Yeah, thanks. That's just a generic copy yeah. and paste answer for that one. Yeah, exactly. Gemma's Grace, hey. how are you? Great to see you. Good to see you. Uh, what is retention time? So what is retention time? Retention time, time is how much you were able to hold the audience for your video. If your video is 10 minutes long and you held them for three minutes, you got a 30% uh, retention on that watch. So it's the average of all that's been watched. 
uh, Master B, just quickly answering your question. You didn't lose two. People do unsubscribe, but very rarely. Most often they just forget about their subscribers. If you look at our social blade and just take ours as an example, our goes up and down all the time. It's been doing it here all evening. I've been seeing it. It's like a heart monitor. And it's not because people are subscribing constantly. It's because YouTube is filtering the subscribers that we are getting. Especially if you get a run of them at once. It will take them back. Say you got 20, it usually pulls it back. And then it starts going through them. Is this a good one? If somebody joined your channel with three uh, three different channels from the same uh, ad IP address, being the same computer, it'll delete usually two of them and leave one. Uh, if they didn't want, you know, it, if it came too much and they didn't watch your videos and that, they might pull some. Or the other side is, okay, great, you gained 10 channels tonight. That's awesome. They're following you. Now we're taking away seven old ones from six months ago that haven't watched you. Yeah. And, and that helps with... Uh, your watch time ratio, guys, uh, it really does. It's, it sucks when it happens. I don't like it either. Nobody wants to lose subscribers. But it actually gives you a better chance of better watch times uh, ratios to your followers. Uh, yeah, and only around 5% people actually are unsubscribing physically. 95% don't. So there's your calculation Most right of them, there. when they unsubscribe, they got a beef with you because it's a lot of work to go back and find you. And those famous sub for sub channels, they don't even care what the name of your channel is. As long as they've heard you sub to them and they're gone to the next one, they couldn't even remember you five minutes down the road. Yeah. So most times when somebody goes to unsubscribe, that's why it's so rare because most of the times it, they've got a beef with you, you know, and they don't like you and they purposely don't want to connect with you. And Master B, if somebody is coming, uh, referring us and asking to subscribe back, uh, please kindly educate them that yeah. we are not prompting anybody for sub for sub and it's up to you if you're subscribing back or not because that's definitely what we're not doing. <laughs> educate, educate. We are always saying educate, educate. That's the only way how yeah. we can uh, spread the knowledge and kindness and yeah. positivity here. We have had trolls coming in in the chat that we have educated into, uh, you know, polite creators and YouTubers. So uh, this is what we all can do. That is unfortunate, but uh, that's the only thing we can do. That's why with wrenches also comes power. If somebody comes in here and this, they're new, you'll know right away because they have no uh, wrench and they're like semi trying to remove the comment right away. But don't delete them. Give them two or three times to try and get with the program and educate them once again. If it becomes too much of a problem, don't worry. It's going to be held. It's going to be uh, taken care of for sure because we don't need that. Mr. Here. Crow 2K, congratulations. Hey. Congratulations. Well done, my friend. Very, very well done. Uh, very well done. That's awesome. Throw some uh, balloons, guys, and stuff like that. Uh, celebrate them. 2K, that's a great achievement. So have a little celebration. Uh, CJ Vid, I have a question. If you get monetized and you don't get 4,000 hours a year, will you be demonetized? No. You need to maintain... Now, they say it fairly active channel okay what it means that if you abandon it uh and you don't post anything well yes then they will demonetize you but uh it doesn't have to be four thousand hours uh maintained after you get monetized it has to be fairly active as they say yeah. they don't really say exactly what is it but they don't count your hours anymore afterwards so uh if you continue doing what you were doing uh nobody's looking at your hours afterwards it's not a year to year thing it's again one of the myths that people say well you know you got to maintain it no no, no. you just got to be active yes exactly and uh, master b uh yeah i started to do that pooch studios i got a few comments saying in from Pusha, please support me back. However, they have started to appear under review comments now. No, that's fine. That's why and there's a telltale proof of they're doing it to everybody. Mm -hmm. And it's not us telling it, they're doing it. And if you get under review comments, either they put a link in their comment, they've put one of the big words into it, but 99% of the time it's because they've done that to 25 different channels in the last Which 15 minutes. Which is unfortunate. Minutes. And unfortunately, we can't police them all. No. All we can we is educate not to do that. Yep. Uh, so if you're one of those people, please don't do it. And if they do appear in your channel, uh, if you have time, try to educate them not to do it. Um, if you can, just delete them. Mm -hmm. um, we delete. We don't even give them the chance a day, anything like that. They're gone. Like Unless it's, it's vile, then we report them for spam and delete them. Yeah, but like I said, you can uh, just educate them that that's not what you're supposed to do anyway. Uh, I try to get at least six videos a week on my channel. I used to do eight, but it was kind of hard. No. Yes, no, yes. Definitely. Don't, don't burn out. Uh, okay. My goodness, six is, is still a lot. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot, exactly. Yeah. Jeep Things Outdoors, you take care. Be well. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for the super chat. 
uh, Iceberg, mm. uh, I asked, uh, what's your favorite song from 80s? Oh my God, there's so many, I wouldn't even know where to start. <laughs> Probably for metal, still Wasted Years by Our Maiden, I Brought Bawago, is still my favorite song, I guess, if I had to pick one. And yeah, it's a hard list to pick from. Wow, that would take some time. Even top 10 would be hard. Ironic. Was, yeah. Isn't it ironic? Yeah, that's not one of my top 10. <laughs> I love the, the, the lyrics to it. All right, and Brenda Canada, great to see you. <laughs> no, that, that's Xenia's choice. <laughs> <laughs> all, that one's all hers. Yeah, I, I like uh, the lyrics. I don't know how much 80s. It's more like 90s. But yeah, never Thank less. you so much for saying that, Master B. Uh, yes, of course. Uh, B, you you are you guys are cool. Anyway, I'm off to bed. Have a great night, Master B. And thank you so much for asking. Hey, I appreciate it, you know, asking and uh, talking about that. Open book, my friend. And we are going to be talking about tags. Uh, uh, I'm probably around 10 minutes from now on. It's just a bit bigger topic, so I'm kind of pushing it a little bit down. So don't go anywhere if you ask a question about tags. Sonny, we talked about you so much. Yes. <laughs> uh, are you saying you only need to reach 4,000 and then if you keep active but don't reach the hours, they will not cut off your AdSense? Yes. Yes, that's right. Very true. That's right. Uh, okay. Uh, da -da -da -da. <laughs> uh, okay. So we have a next question here from Marcel, uh, who asked, uh, "Should an upload video be at least ten minutes long for the algorithm?" No, but it's the unsung word that still is the preferential time, and it was started mostly because of PewDiePie and all those guys were going to ten minutes to be able to get two uh, two uh, commercials out of it. It's not written in stone, but it tends to be that way. There's a big asterisk in front of that. A huge, huge, huge asterisk in front of it. I can't stress that enough. It's a great number to be at if you can keep it interesting for 10 minutes. And 10 minutes is a long time in a video. If it's not going to be interesting, don't do it, please. You're better off with 5 minutes, 4 minutes, and have great content that keeps people wanting to come back and see your next video. Nobody wants their time wasted, ever. And that's a great way... Excuse my language to piss off a lot of people that would otherwise like you very quickly is wasting their time. So huge asterisk in front of that one. Hmm. Gemma is close to 1.9. That's awesome. Good to hear that. Sonny, yes. And just Enjoy once again, fairly you. active is not defined, uh, but it definitely doesn't. It, it says that you don't have to. So hmm. once again, it's in the uh, their guidelines uh, very clearly, at least for that part. Uh, no, no, you don't, Chaos. Uh, thank you. M Mr. Steamboat, I love that. I was answering Ashley Beauty. Cool. Mondays, I tell a joke. Wednesdays, card trick. Friday, random. And Saturday, sing-alongs. Mm. My God, that's interesting. I love that. And I love that it is consistency. And yep. that's what YouTube loves as well, is that people know what to expect from you in those certain days. Yep. YouTube knows that people will know, which makes YouTube like you more. That's <laughs> right. So that's a great way of doing it. Love that. Uh, thank you so much. And yes, guys, please put your answers as well. We're not experts here. Uh, we're just the ones in front of the camera. So if you have any ideas or any knowledge or experience, please uh, do put it in the chat as well. And we can all discuss it. Uh, how do you fix our playlists? I can't figure out how to put description on them. A description already. Already, I'll get that set up in a second here. Uh, you can you can talk or answer part. Or yeah. So once again, we just go to the playlist uh, to customize channel playlist. Uh, click on a title, uh, edit, and then you just add the description by clicking into the description box. Sorry, I wasn't sharing the screen. Sorry. So you just go to your play. Oh, let me bring this up. Go to your playlist, and then you click on the title as Xenia said, and then click edit, right here. This yeah. is a liked video one, so I don't know uh, if it's going to be able to put a description oh, on it. Oh, right, right, right. You are right. Let me the go default back. Uh, playlist like uploads, uh, popular and liked, you can't add your own description. Let's do vacation mode. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, let's do that one. So there you go. So you click on the title, as Xenia said. Click on edit. And it'll take a second to load, as always. And then you have a, see, here's your title, right? And you have a pencil. We have our description here, so there's another pencil, but the, if you don't have any description, there'll be nothing here. But as soon as you bring your mouse down, you'll see another pencil appear. And just as you did with the title, click on the pencil, and you write in your uh, description and save it right there. 
So yeah, like I said, just picture this all gone, and when you bring your mouse down, you'll just see another pencil appear. Really, I don't know why they don't have those things there. I know they kind of want to give you a look of it, but this is not the true look you're gonna have anyways. In my opinion, they should have it there as uh, by default without even having, oh my God. Ugh. I didn't realize it was on that. Uh, mm -hmm. And yeah, and that's why one of the reasons why we suggest to have your uploads uh, playlist uh, custom made instead of the default one is because you can't do description to the default uploads playlist. You can only do it when you do your channel uploads playlist. Then you can add your own description to it. Uh, whoever called me Xavier, <laughs> uh, I'm sure we have watched the same video. Ha ha, <laughs> lol. Uh, my name is Xenia. <laughs> uh, sorry, I didn't catch who was it, but uh, thank you. It was very funny. Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, okay. Um, I have 10 minutes video. Spooky Kirby Place. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, Stacy Morgan. Hey, Stacy. Good to see you. Good to see you here. How are you doing this evening? Yes. How are you doing? Kimber Kiss is here. Kimber Kiss. Oh, Such a sweetie. Yes. And I love my creative spirit is here. All kinds of amazing channels, guys. Glad you're all getting to mingle each other. I'm glad you guys are having a good time. G Fam is here. Great to see you. Great to see you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny tonight. <laughs> <laughs> You're a, ja she's in a mood, folks. Jackie Jacks asked, uh, what can I do to make my channel interesting enough for people to join my channel to actually, for those who joined my channel, to actually watch my videos and not just be ghosts? Uh, in live streams or video, I mean, a lot of it applies. To say, well, yeah, well, let's just make it apply to both. I always ask that number one question. If I was watching this, would I enjoy it? If you want, everybody wants that one secret answer to everything. And to me, that's the, oh, she's running away, folks. <laughs> but it, it sounds like a, like kind of a condescending answer, but it's not. Remember when I just said a little while ago that, you know, as soon as you're a YouTube channel, you are like your own independent business. And you have to be your own worst critic. You have to be the one that's able to look yourself in the eye and in the mirror and ask those hard questions. Well, that's a great example of it. You have to look at things and say, if it was me watching this, would I want to stay here? And we have to, oh, Gator Bite, not a problem. <laughs> it was so nice having you in and I hope you have a really great night. Thank you for coming. Uh, Dirt Pour Outdoors, great to see you in here. Guys, if we're missing some names, our deepest apologies uh, as we get answering uh, questions and stuff like that. Just Living with George and Woon, great to have you in here. So many great channels. Please remember, guys, to hit the like button, tweet it out, all that great stuff. It really does help us out a lot. Thank you so much for supporting us. And that's the biggest thing is make content and don't be shy to change the way you started. But there again, with another big asterisk, don't go that doesn't mean like okay well i open up i'm a baseball channel you know wait a minute wow that guy's getting really a lot of views talking about uh yard work guess what i'm a yard work channel now Woohoo! it don't work that way you're not that person doing it and it might turn out that way and by doing that you're going to alienate the people that have been following you all along always make changes in your channel like a ship very gently slight degrees at a time edge your audience into something and think long and hard before you change into different niches and stuff like that because it might not work out as well as you're hoping for you're taking an awful gamble it's like a real store once again if you're selling printing supplies and the next day you're a grocery store and the week after that you're selling pharmaceuticals and everything nobody's going to be able to go to your store because they never know what what they're going to get when they're there you it it consistency is a great thing and you can put variants onto it to keep it fresh instead of changing what you talk about as your your niche change the way you talk about your niche is such an important part and that's why when Xenia was saying like you know that's the nice thing about uh, studio beta you can actually see the um, see the uh, the algorithm analytics right beside your video you can see at the moment like Holy God, I just lost 20 people again at that point at 845. What happens at 845? Oh, that's when I switched to that type of uh, topic. 
Maybe that topic's not working well. Maybe I'm edu- I'm bringing them in the wrong way. Maybe that part should be done at the beginning or cut out at all. It, it is a lot of self uh, awareness and a lot of being hard on yourself sometimes. Not making yourself feel bad, but answering honest questions. You might believe in your heart or hearts. This is the way to say it. But if, it's, if your message is not getting into the people, it's maybe time to change the way you're saying that message. Yes, and, 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 and you know, it's about uh, content itself and it's also about what you are making. So you can either try and see what you're, uh, uh, what the people that are interacting with you, what are they interested in already and try to make more of that. Or you can go into reverse cr- content creation and uh, look at what your niche uh, other channels are uh, making videos about that get maybe more traction and try to kind of follow uh, them at least at the beginning. You can also try to be more interactive with your uh, viewers, the ones that are there, uh, is uh, to make live streams. Uh, don't do right away giveaways because that's what people right away say. Well, I'll just do giveaway and it's going to be very short lived and nothing really is going to change too much in the uh, people coming to your channel that way. Uh, but more interactive, maybe some kind of, uh, you know, poll or some kind of competition or a game or something like that that is interactive more that pe- people want to come and it'd be fun because interaction is a big point of it. Uh, Jesse Robert uh, Garza says, I was going to start out with home improvement, but did not like the way I looked on camera. Uh, I'm sure you look great on camera. You'd be fine. But when you're just starting out, YouTube can be a bit like going to college. Oh, I want to be a physicist. There's nowhere around it. That's where I'm going. And then you know what? I'm already starting in these basic programs and it's not for me. And I want to now be, I don't know, a history teacher. It's normal that you might, you know, realize once you're up there, this is not for me. But you got to find it earlier on. But the more you're into it, the more subscribers we see people like, well, I got 1800 subscribers, you know, what? another thousand or so. And then I got to really start to decide what I got to do. No, you got to decide now, like you got to have something or otherwise, once again, you're only going to come to channels like where we have our show at nights and stuff to grow. Hello, Flair TV. Welcome here. Hey. I'm sure you can share your views uh, on how to grow on YouTube as well. Please do if you can. Now uh, we're just Q and A on YouTube. Wow, we uh, haven't seen you in a bit. Yes, how are you doing? <laughs> and a big hi to Caribou Country Outdoors and Rosorian Buck guys. Um, thank you uh, for saying great advice. Uh, just Flair. Uh, f- I scrolled. Oh, Rake it. Rake it. Hey, hey, hey. Rake it. Thank you so much for supporting us. Rake it. Rake it. You are crazy, Scum my friend. Gaming, interactive live streams. Uh, out. And we're going to definitely have a chat uh, Ray, soon. I want to run by you about Scum. Uh, I want to uh, try and uh, talk about it some night on here. So I'm definitely going to be hitting you up soon. My two favorite. You have been so amazing to us. And man, you're growing like crazy. God, he's getting close to thirteen thousand. Yeah, it's awesome. A year grow and and well done. There, there, guys. In a, a sea of gaming channels, there's a great example, a very great example of somebody who's done the opposite and turned it so. He's he talks more. I find a lot more to my age, even though young people enjoy him as well. He's more engaging. He's taken his personality. And remember that, guys, your personality is the one thing that's going to make you the most unique on YouTube because nobody can be you ever. So use that to your advantage. And another one is Flare TV, who is up to one million subscribers. I want to know who is Jack and who is Burz- <laughs> and when is the birthday? <laughs> Oh, congrats, by the way. Flare TV. I remember shutting you out. My God almighty. You had. Let's see here. When did you have 10,000? Yes, he had 10,000 in uh, when, uh, the 8th is what? July, August? August, yeah. August. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, un- unbelievable. Mm-hmm. Unfreaking believable. We love seeing that. Yep. We're proud of you. You worked at it. Look, look, guys, there's the numbers. There they are in black and white. That's right. Well, thank you for coming back. Yep. <laughs> um, and hit 1 million on the 21st. Thank you. Uh, Oh, that's crazy. Uh, good I remember job. showing you out and you had like, what was it, 6,500 or something like that? Yes, we're a couple of thousands. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Huntsman, hello. Doing amazing too. Uh, how are you doing? Uh, good to see you here as well. Uh, Jackie, hello. Good to see you. Uh, there was a question about consistency in the channel and changing the, the channel. Uh, 
if you want to make a channel about something that is completely different from what your channel is about, make a new one. Yeah. Uh, you can, of course, do it on top of what you already have, but it's much easier to make it. Oh from my scratch. God, uh, Ray Kit, you work hard for your money, man. We're fine. Just come in and say hi. Yeah. You're, you're. Thank you, Ray Kit. You're Thank nuts. you. You know, Thank you so much. I'm going to say this, guys, and I've said this even when Ray Kit wasn't in here. Most of you followed for a while. I've said this before. Ray Kit is one of those channels that has been so good to us. And, like, keep even when our hard times, everybody has their hard times, who's always been so amazing to us. Uh, this is what I hope to be as I get bigger. I got to say, Ray Kit is one of the, my biggest influences for that, that of people that I've gotten to meet since I've been on YouTube. The integrity is just through the roof. Yes. <laughs> and he was our wow. guest on our channel in this uh, season. So he was so amazing. Out. My God, we were on forever. We were talking so much. We had such a oh, good I know. time. I know. So he, it happens. Please, guys, if you haven't shown him some love, please do. You'll not regret it. Uh, even if you're not into gaming, the chat is like the people in there are so respectful. Uh, he's just got a, and it's because of his personality, you but know. Very uh, mature, like grown up, you yes. know. As, uh, Nothing against the uh, kids that are gamers, but there is very good uh, support group. Been commenting on our videos once in a while. Haven't seen you in our chat in ages. Boom and Bigs TV, my God. Hey, great to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Got uh, Wow. Got us, Scott. Awesome. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Known them right since the beginning. An awesome channel. So great to see you guys. What a nice surprise. Cross Comics. Hello. Good to see you too. Across comments was that that's who said the comment a while ago. I was trying to get back to find you. That was about uh, being an individual on YouTube yeah. and that. Dark one, yes, I answered your question with the polls. Yes, that's right. Oh, awesome. Snoopy's in here. Snoopy eats four away. Oh, wow, my Snoopy. God, guys. How are you after the storm? I heard yes. Toronto got hit really hard the other day. Mm -hmm. uh, I seen him. I was in his live on his premiere. He's like, it's just, you Canadians, it's too damn cold up here. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Got Sunshine Cooper in here. Hey, guys. Hello. Good to see everybody just joining us now. Please hit the like button, guys, if you can. Tweet it out. We're still on, and we're going to start answering questions in just a second again. Just nice to have some surprises here. This is our favorite night in the week, guys, where we really get to talk with you guys the most. Uh, thank you for everything. What, what a nice surprise. You're, that was really cool to see you guys in here. So many awesome channels. I I know, Ray Kit, it's so late for you. Still working. You got 11 days, eh? 11 day shift going right now. Much love to you. Oh my God, it's so nasty out here in Toronto. Oh, no, we're all, <laughs> oh. all you're at work? Oh, man. Oh, no. My God, yes. Try to stay warm, buddy. Be safe. Eh? Uh, oh, definitely Chaos and Order. It's so great to meet you. And a channel guy's just starting, and I love their attitude. They're picking up information in between us and people in the chat. Remember that, guys. We just had a, uh, we have a channel here that has 1 million, uh, rake at 12,000. Right down to the channel like there, 15. And we're all equals, guys, under that blue wrench. That's what it signifies. Nothing more, nothing less. We're all YouTube creators, and we're all in it together. Uh, HB Fingerman, Fingerin. Well, you too. You guys being here in the chat makes us look great. I mean, you guys make it. I always said that 2080 thing, and I mean it. That's a big part of it, guys, is the interaction and appreciation for your audience because they do make your live streams what they are. We could do everything gold if that was ever possible. We mess up way too many things. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys' reactions in here, the way you interact with each other and all these things is what makes people want to come back. So we owe so much to you guys. And uh, release the lens exactly. Ray Kit is uh, from across the pond as well. Uh, hopefully you guys know each other. L love our British audience. Uh, every audience. Yeah, you guys so are is Sony. As yes. well, yeah, so over is Chalky Orange. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people here in their late nights joining Gemma. us. Yes. So many um, channels. Mm -hmm. uh, Anna, we're getting to the tags. Don't worry. Okay. Don't go anywhere. Uh, yeah, we better <laughs> get back to the questions. Greetings, Jay's channel. Hello and welcome here as well. Um, it's great to see you, Sunshine. Oh, yes. Thank you, guys. Everybody coming Which in. Which on wheels? Yeah, she's back. <laughs> Always great having you in. Love her. What an amazing channel. I love her attitude. <laughs> There's Snoopy Eats, another fellow Canadian. Witch on Wheels, if you guys haven't connected yet. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm. Oh, coffee's mm. good. Okay. 
And Are you washing clothes, sunshine? <laughs> oh, okay. Chores. Um, I killed the 400 mark and it just keeps uh, growing. Yes. Winter content. Awesome. You're well, doing yes. Amazing. Winter content. How about uh, maintaining it? How about uh, the footage? Uh, there's a whole bunch of uh, droning ideas, for example. And what do droners do in the winter? I was asking Roger them that. Supposedly they keep the batteries, they got to keep them warm right up until the minute they fly. And they usually lose a couple of minutes, but in extreme cold, of course, the plastic gets too brittle and it's too dangerous that, you know, to ruin. What would you suggest to make? What kind of content uh, for droners that can't do it in winter? I, I would be trying to shoot as much in the summer and fall and use this more for editing and preparing videos to keep going. Recycle. Recycle the stuff. Exactly. Greatest of, you know, compilations. Mm -hmm. uh, places you've shot different times of the year when it was warmer. You would be surprised what you can find in the footage that you have shot before and haven't used. I'm the king of B-roll. I love playing with B-roll. That's my favorite part is making something out of all those pieces together. That's right. The, the best land of the best. The land of land and land. How are you? It's been a little bit. Yeah. Great to see you. Good Great to see, see you. you. Brigitte Seeker. How is school going? Good to see you here. Guys, we're still holding at 100. It's unbelievable. Yesterday was four times worse. Yes. <laughs> awesome gamer uh, hello thank you so much right back at you and i was watching one of your uh, videos tonight past live stream i didn't con comment because i was uh working on my computer at the time my other one but i enjoyed it i like your take on things nice to see you in here um release the lens i love b-roll too isn't it fun it's like going to a swap meet and getting all this gold to play with you know i'm i'm glad you enjoy yourself uh pretty jay's channel i'm glad that's awesome to hear it's pretty hard in school, lol. Uh, mm. Oh, prejudice seeker. <laughs> I know, and the week have just started. Yeah. Yes. We get it. Our middle son has all week of exams this week. That's so, right. Yeah. Uh, high school is high school. Uh, okay, well, uh, let's back to the get our questions. Uh, let's get back to the questions. And if you have any more questions, please put them in the chat. We'll try to catch them and answer them. Uh, we try to get into the sequence of them. Not always happens, but we try. We try our best. By the way, just a reminder that the music. Craft beer pours, I'm sorry. Yes. And one sip at a time are both in here. I was just thinking about you guys today. Literally just thinking about you guys. How are you doing? Girls and boys, one sip at a time, craft beer pours. Uh, they are married to each other, guys, if you didn't know that. There you go. That's the news. <laughs> Two of some of the most awesome people we've had the pleasure of meeting on YouTube. And yes. we've known them for a while now, like it's pretty much since the beginning as well with them. And I'll always, always say the greatest things about them. So, hope you guys are doing well. Miss you guys like crazy. Wait. Oh. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. A, a big celebration. <laughs> I don't want to be the downer, but don't be surprised if it takes a couple of days after for it to go through. YouTube yeah. has been horrible at that lately. Just giving you a heads up. Hopefully it won't be. But uh, be uh, be prepared for that might happen. So uh, one step at a time, Trish. Yes. Uh, yeah. Thinking about you guys. Uh, yeah. All our best. Mm. Um. Yes. One sip of Martin. Yes. Good morning, by the way, Martin. Yes. Uh, it's so nice. You guys are all together here. It is such a pleasure to have each and every one of you guys hanging out. I think we should get back to the questions. Maybe I know there were so many of them, and the people have been waiting for them. Yes. The cannabis, that cannabis show, you made it. <laughs> Introduced me to so many people. How are you? Great to see you. Hello. Awesome to have you, my friend. He has this funny ass show. I laugh. My, I can't stop laughing. I was telling yeah, him I watched about a little bit of that yesterday. Yeah. You, you, you were meant to host a show, my friend. I love it. <laughs> you're, you're awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining us. And I want to say, yes, you hear that cannabis show. It's not, it's the personality into it. He is so freaking funny. Like, you just have that. I think we got a lot of the same humor, too. I've been learning yes, very quickly. Yes, I bet. And that's how it sounded to me, too. I watched a little bit and enjoyed it as well. Um,. Uh, Okay, well, uh, so I just posted a link of MU Free Music. Uh, this is what you hear in our background, all solely exclusively. All music that you can hear is provided and featured by MU Free Music for your videos. If you're looking for your audio files for your video, go and check him out. Uh, you can download MP3 under each of the videos he posts. Free, copyright free, amazing music for your videos. That is right. Love his music. Use it in everything here. Everything from intros to openers, to anything in between. Mm -hmm. 
up. Okay, yep. uh, so we have a question. Okay. Anyone else explain? Okay, uh, so the questions. What? No, I'm gonna back back to questions. Holy God, we got a lot. Of time. No, 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 let's get back to the questions. Mm. Okay. We'll do a speed round, maybe on a couple of them. We'll try and get through some of them for people. Uh, well, I tried to answer some of them already in the chat. Okay. Uh, so I think we are uh, back uh, to uh, -da 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 -da. Uh, we are back to tags now, which I've been pushing down because it's a bigger uh, subject. Alrighty. Okay. Uh, be oh, new camera for release the lens. Uh, blue collar fish. Uh, congrats. Nice. Uh, blue. What kind of camera, by the way? Uh, blue <laughs> collar fishing is saying my MP4 save option on YouTube disappeared. I can no longer take clips from my previous videos. Anyone else experiencing that? Uh, I haven't used it recently. Uh, it's been a little while. I don't know. No, they were supposed to have it automatically in the new one. Did you check in the new studio? Because it seemed to me it was better set up for it the last time I used it. Check in the new studio. They might have uh, migrated fully over to there by now. That might be why. Yeah, Jankby, hello. And high country, fly life. We already talked about that, but let's uh, touch up on it quickly. Uh, keep losing uh, subs from live streams. What is going on, Andrew? Yep. Alrighty, guys. That's why we always share, even on the nights when it's not the wheel of that, you always see our subscriber count there. Part of it is, of course, we want to grow like everybody else, but also, too, so you can see the ups and downs into it. Say you get 20 subscribers in a live stream. Uh, a lot of times it's going to take a lot of them away right away and it's going to slowly feed them back over the next couple hours. It's going to wash them out. Okay, this guy joined you from the same computer under three different accounts. We're taking away two of them. We'll leave one. Um, another thing too is, you know, they, they went and they didn't watch and, uh, right away. There's, all, you know, all the different things that would turn off the algorithm. Then there's the other side that says, okay, great. You got 10 subscribers tonight. That's awesome. 10 chances of new people to watch you. Now we're going to take away six of the ones from seven months ago that haven't watched you at all. And that's their way of like washing it out, cleansing them, uh, getting rid of, uh, think of it, it sounds cool, but it's kind of like, you know, when you get rid of the skin on your hands or your feet, how you always get rid of an old layer for the new layer to breathe. That's what it's kind of doing is getting rid of the ones that are weighing you down. There's people that have unfortunately passed away forgot their password to their accounts all a million different reasons and guess what like us some people were just not for them they joined and they just don't want to watch again and yes yeah, some that do just sub for sub and once they've done it they're moved on and they're never coming back for all those reasons you're better off without them it sucks to see those numbers go down but in the end it gives you a better chance for better uh, engagement from your audience which looks better for the the uh, algorithm and I don't like when I see it go down either for me. I'm like anybody else. We always want to keep going up. So. And uh, release the lens got Sony 63. I have Sony 6000. So I don't know if you have used before or not. Uh, let me know if you have any mm. questions. <laughs> uh, so very excited for you. Uh, that's a really good camera. Uh, cool. Oh, congratulations, John Pick. Hey, we're all in it together. You guys do that. We're, we, we're just... Whenever we send some of your channel it, or, you know, you meet people in here... It's just like a commercial. It's your content that keeps them. And remember that, guys. Nobody, if you keep going to channels like that solely and don't do anything, well, you'll just get it from there. If you've got content in that, people get over it and they see it. You're the one who kept them there. So it's very important. We can't, uh, we can send people to you, but you can't, we can't keep them there for you. That yep. part falls onto you. So always put your best foot forward. That's right. That's right. The early kitten, who, by the way, have been shouting about us for weeks mm. long everywhere. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, That's awesome. What is your advice for backing videos with music? It sounds kind of chaotic when I do it. It's more with an editing question. How do you edit your music into the videos? Oh, okay. Like the flow of music or where to change the music. Like what would be your tips about adding music to the Hold videos? on, I'll answer one sec. I'm just continuing on from that because Big uh, Boom and Big's TV said, always watch a full video like and comment before. And if you're in a place where you're meeting a lot of people, make a temporary playlist or add to your watch later. And then after that stream is done, go back and watch them through. And exactly, get and, and get a feel. I wouldn't have met a lot of I always say that. I wouldn't have met a lot of you guys if I hadn't taken the time to watch what you just do. And, uh, you know, you want to connect with the... But I don't watch every video. I mean, of that everybody makes. It's impossible. I get 1,200 notifications roughly every 12 to 24 hours. But... Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely. You don't want to do it just for the sake of getting a number because it's going to do you no good in the end. It's just going to be taken away by YouTube and uh, you'll be no better for it. 
And thank you so much, Gil Skills, <laughs> my favorite couple. Hi. You are too kind, my friend. I had fun with you as well on the stream last night on Recycle Dudes. Had such an a great, awesome time. Thank you so much for having me. Adding music, it depends which software you use. Uh, for me, it's Adobe Premiere. Most of them work on the track system. I always lay down my music, and I was talking the other night with our guest, who is also a musician. Where I, what I do is I'll lay down my music, and M is a shortcut for markers on uh, Adobe Premiere. I'll literally tap my finger to the beat. I'll, I'll listen to the song like 10, 15 times in a row, get it so ingrained in my head, I know it backwards and forwards, and I'll be like, dun 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 You know, following the beat right through the whole song. And I'm putting markers the whole way up. And from there, then at least I have an idea what clips are going to fit in what spaces, where transitions are, you know, like going into the chorus and stuff. And then I'll set it up from there. I hope that answers. I'm not quite sure if that was what they were looking for or not. Yeah, I think that's what the type of the question. If yeah. uh, you have any follow-up questions, let us know. Yeah, it, it, but keep... Uh, one thing is, guys, make sure you stay true to the beat of the song. Always. Because it will show us off time on your video later on. Zoom in and really make sure you're lined up on those because it will show later on. That's something I do see sometimes. Take those extra moments and really line them up properly. Those markers that I put are just loose. After that, I go back in and that's when I do my my exact um, uh, placements and stuff. Do you guys keep the old video files? Uh, do a lot of portable drive need or virtual free space or delete them? Well, we have a server that we're getting repaired right now. We have eight, four, uh, well, six three terabyte hard drives and f two four terabyte hard drives and that's where we store everything plus we also use cloud for some of it as well and yeah and mostly Not because it's a raw footage which takes tons more space than compressed jpegs uh, or video files so so it depends on that too. one wedding we do like a wedding exini will take an average in eight hours about three thousand photos at a 50 megs a piece because they're raw and I'll shoot about 150 gigs worth of video. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there's a lot of a lot of raw that comes with it. Snoopy is be safe on Take the drive home, friend. please do. It's slippery. Um, do you save your old uh, footage? Uh, y some of it. What I tend to do is always go through it all, and I'll make one video using as much of the good footage out of that B-roll as possible, and then I'll know what's good out of it, and then I'll sometimes get rid of a bit of the extra stuff that I. Like anything that's really bad, I know I can't salvage. I definitely will toss it whenever possible. But if I'm not sure, I'll err on the side of the caution, uh, uh, err on the side of caution, and always keep it. So yeah, I do. Like I do get rid of the blurs and stuff like that. But I do most, like most of them. First of all, for clients, you need a backup just in case. Second of all, you always, like we say, can recycle some of the stuff and reuse it for other purposes. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah, um, get rid of the ones that are completely, uh, you know, blurred, uh, not too sharp and things like that. And then if you can, then keep at least for a while. Uh, yes, you can use MU Free Music. Uh, you just uh, remember to reference them in your video. Uh, all the instructions are under each of their video on their channel. So check that out and it is safe. Definitely. Oswald Dran of Meadow. Yes. Ferrari. Hello. Good to see you too. Uh, Food lover, hello, good to see you as well. Okay, well, uh, how often do you should, how often you should upload? Consistency is king on YouTube. The more you can do it consistently, and start off small. Don't smother yourself. If you can do two videos a week, say at, uh, okay, Monday and Fridays, I can upload a video at 6 p.m. If you can do that, that's the best thing you can do for your channel. It's funny because YouTube started off being anti-television, but it's actually becoming more TV than ever. And it wants your audience to know that a certain time to be there to see what you're doing because that shows true engagement to what you do. Do not say, oh, I think I can do maybe one or two weeks, but you know what? Since it likes engagement, I'm going to do five because you'll fall apart within no time and that will actually hurt you with the algorithm because you're not keeping up with that commitment. Start with one even. Okay, I'm going to upload one every Wednesday at uh, 3 p.m., and then after that, do one or two a week that are fringe if you want. And then if you find things really starting to pick up and you can maintain it, then introduce the second one. Okay, now I'm going to do Wednesdays and Fridays at 3 p.m. Or, you, you know, don't put pressure on yourself that you can't keep up because it will hurt you in the long run. So better off to start with what you can commit to 
and really show and, and really impress the algorithm, which means it will be it will favor you more and slowly introduce versus uh, putting yourself in a hole. Hey there, Iron Lung. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. And also, welcome, Queen City Picker. Great to see you. Hope you are doing well. Stacy, just copy the address bar. Go to your profile of your Twitter. Uh, copy address bar. And that's exactly what you send uh, to uh, to Bobby. Bobby Ducart. Queen City Picker, I just gave you a wrench. Great to have you in here. It's Louie. Hello. Uh, Iron Lung. Uh, hello. Early Kitty. Yeah, there's not much you can fiddle with that if it's a game on t words on top of the game. Uh, so maybe more specific if you can specify what exactly what you're looking for for the in the music wise uh, And uh, Dodo is just 17 away from 6500. Awesome. That is amazing. Wow, man. You're flying. You're flying Good job Okay, so I think we are finally to the question about tags Yeah <laughs> Okay, uh, and I keep pushing it back because it is a, it is a big subject and obviously everybody's always interested in that But it is uh, I, I don't know. I think I will have to do like a separate live stream on that I'm gonna give you guys a disclaimer right now I'll try because <laughs> any likes it and it is a very big topic It's very hard to condense much but a lot of people have asked us how we've grown and what it takes to grown to grow This will be a big answer to it right here so if you really are interested in that for your channel, this is definitely something you're going to really take a lot out of. So so I'm going to try to go very gener generic first because really, you know, I need to show and tell in order for it to be more uh, in-depth descriptive. Uh, first of all, you must have tags on your video and on your channel. That's that's number one. Uh, so yes, you do have space for tags on your videos, but also on your channel. That means that you have to put them in. Uh, if there is space for anything on YouTube, uh, for any kind of text, fill it. If there is space for description, anywhere, playlists, this video descriptions, about section, that me that's meant to be filled, okay? It's not just there optional. Uh, you might think so, but it's better to fill it because it just gives you extra points into that game of puzzle that we all call algorithm here. So, <coughs> so tags, there's 500 characters there. And there was a question uh, from JC, uh, what's the point, uh, like, do we have to fill it out? And what's the point of filling it out uh, with uh, unmeaningful tags? Of course, it's not unmeaningful tags, but that's why you do your homework. And that's the part where you, as a channel, have to go deep in what your channel is about, how big your channel is, and go and spend your time into researching what exact tags are relevant to your channel as a whole. And that's where you're going to put your channel tags and to your videos. And 90 if your channel is about the same category, 95% of your tags are going to be the same from one video to another. Um, because your category is the same and you're gonna be tweaking just a couple of them depending what exactly your video is about so qu question then rises well how do I do that how do I know what tags to put in the smaller channel you are and we are here <coughs> with exception for the million one <laughs> uh, we're all here small enough or growing still enough that we need to be um, searched and discovered and that especially is important if when you are under a thousand that is like extra important one of the most ways how you can actually grow on youtube is to be searched and discovered and the way to do it is to have the keywords in everywhere all across the possible text and tags the smaller channel you are the more specific tags should be specific means long tail tags long tail tags means tags that contain of two three sometimes four words so i always bring uh, a word music if you are a music channel or anything con contained with music if you are in in our sizes here a couple hundred couple thousand and you're gonna put a tag music <coughs> that mu that tag is not gonna do a thing not gonna do a thing to your video to your channel because there are virtually millions and millions of channels that has more views more subscribers than you so a uh, chances of you getting into the first or even the second page of the search is zero so don't even don't even put it there because it's not gonna rank whatsoever well then the question is why should what should i put there i'm still a music channel 
You still can put the music, but not as music one word, but research deeply, deeper, more in. What exactly is it? So you search uh, what is less uh less videos are made about and it's kind of feel counterintuitive counter you know well i want to rank for the the biggest word for the one that is gets searched the most yes we all do but the chances of you winning that game is is zero you want to start with with very small searches so that means very long tags very specific tags that are more chances to hit your channel with your video and, and get views on, on their so what you do and one of the, the very good and best and free things to do is to go to YouTube address bar. And I don't know if you can uh, illustrate that. If you could just go into YouTube address bar, click on it and write I music. Can't, I can't right now because okay. it hides it from the top. So. Okay. So you go into a YouTube uh, search bar and you type music space and you're going to see that in the drop down menu, it suggests you plenty of words plenty of words what type of music it is or who is watching it so you take one of those you put it again in the search space and see again what is the third word that it suggests and now now you can see where you could possibly rank does your vi video fit in any of those go into that search word see what are the top videos how many views have there are there chances that you might hit a a around near that size of the views potentially so that's how you how you bottom down for your main my main tags once you find your three four main tags for your video you grow around them you change them a little bit adding plurals adding a or the uh changes a lot uh, you know um little details into the same tag changes a lot in how you can be searched so once you find those three four ones you just change them a little bit around with the plurals with the articles um a or that to it maybe you add a year to it uh, maybe you know uh, change the order of the um the tag and and just keep building on that and if there are 500 characters use all of them no don't use generic tags that are not going to mean anything spend your time research them and believe me it's gonna make a difference for your views for the watch time and the way that your channel grows if you can download tubebuddy download videoq download everything you can possible morning all the fame. free morning fame free versions are enough if you use all of them in conjunction to do that all for free and if you have just started you don't need to buy anything you can use the free versions and it's going to be enough for that the links are down below in the description you can check it out by the way there's plenty of tools there that are for free in the description lots of things that you can use there's also uh, my personal collection of uh, uh, websites where i research tags as well and, and hashtags so go check it out uh, you can all use it uh, so that's the basic of it the, and and guys that's why i was showing you what uh Xenia had done for uh ours here as well you can see using social blade vidiq and tubebuddy you can see everybody's tags that they've used so that's why i was showing you it's nothing secret and just showing correlation to also what's written in the description and uh really honestly it's a lot of work i gotta give that to Xenia on that one she does the tag stuff around here and it is a lot of work and every day she puts a lot of time just into doing that. So yeah, I just redid our today's, by the way, we, we had a little bit different set of tags, but because we're growing and because also the d demand for different types of videos are there, uh, you review them every so often. And even for your older videos, you still review oh. the tags. I've been missing the chat because I'm used to Xenia looking. At it. I forgot that she was doing this part. I should have been looking more. So my my apologies. Now I see her name highlighted. Uh, there you go. The Cannabis Show, thank you so very much. It was, it's great to have you in here, and I'm glad you're enjoying yourself so much. And Eileen, I will go back and look for it here. Let me see. Uh, oh, d oh yes. Okay, thank you very much. Yes, don't no, don't worry. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna take care of that in just a few minutes. So uh, we're gonna actually end a couple minutes early tonight. So. Hmm. Uh, maybe I should DM you my problem. I'm not sure how to explain it. Could you watch my video tomorrow at 12 noon? I don't want to be whiny. Just I'm not sure we can watch it at 12 noon, but we you can send the link once it's yes. uploaded, and we can watch it after. 
Oh, hold on, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we do anything. Guys, I need all your help right now. I need all your help right now. Pause, 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 pause. We need to, uh, yeah. There, guys. Let's take care of this one right away because this is very important. Let me put on some echo. That's right. Even though it's a Tech Talk Tuesday, when somebody gets close to a milestone, we help them out. And our unbelievable friend, Kimber Kiss, is 10 away. 10 away from 2K, guys. I need everybody on deck. Let's put her past. Let's do this one fast and pay tax man and all that stuff. So I'm in the go mode. You know how it is, guys. I love jumping into action, especially for an awesome channel like Kimber Kiss. So let's get her past 2K, guys. Let's do it. We need the right music here. Let me get this all started. Let me get this going here. Let's see. We're going to open it up with here. There we go, guys. We even got support music running. Let's make it happen for Kimber Kiss. Kimber Kiss, please say hi in the chat. Let everybody know where they are so they can subscribe to you. 1091 Guild, thank you very much, my friend. There's the link, guys. There's the link. Nine more to go. Let's take Kimber Kiss past 2,000, guys. That's a big one. I need your help. I need everybody's assistance. All hands on deck, folks. All hands on deck. 1993. Keep it going, guys. Keep it coming. Seven more to go for Kimber Kiss. We're doing this, guys. St. Havoc, how are you? Great to see you, my friend. Great to see you. That's right, Witcher Wheels. Go, Kimber, go. Let's do this right away, guys. Let's make it happen. That's right, Guild Skills. I mean it when I say it. All hands on deck. Six more to go, guys. We need help. We need assistance. Whatever it takes, we're taking our pass. It's only six, guys. We should be flying past this. I know Kimber Kiss knows everybody. Why? Because she's awesome. And that's why we're going to take her pass. Don't worry about that phone back. Let's make it happen, guys. Thank you so much, HB. Thank you so very much. I need everyone's assistance right now. We are seven to go, guys. Seven away from 2K. Let's do it. Let's make it happen. For Kimber Kiss. Seven more to go. She is amazing, guys. She is amazing. A great, great creator, a great supporter, a great friend to all of us. There you go. Now we're moving in the right direction. 1993, my birth year, the early kid in. Oh my God, do I feel old right now. <laughs> Four more to go, guys. Four more to go for Kimber Kiss. There you go. One more to go. One more to go. Here we go now, 1999, we're trying to get up past 2000, guys, let's make it up. Not right now, Kimber Kiss is an awesome channel, guys, we're going to help right now. 1999, I can't do it on top of the music. I can't do the thing on top of the music. It's too much. 2000 for Kimber Kiss. Yay! Uh, there you go, guys, and pay the tax, man. If you haven't subscribed already, please do it now. This is the time. Get her over that so there's no falling by. If you have subscribed, Throw those emojis. That's right, Gil Skills. You know what we're talking about. It is celebration time, guys, for Kimber Kiss, who just hit 2,000. Congratulations, Kimber Kiss. We love you. So proud of you. And it is always, like I say, it's just the beginning. Kimber Kiss, you don't have to thank us for anything. You got them there. You're an amazing person, and you've been so good to us. Pleasure's all ours. Thank you for letting us be a part of it. 2,000 for Kimber Kiss, guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Keep her up a little bit more over it. That is absolutely awesome. Uh, you guys, Chatoya Lynn, how are you? Much love to you, much love to you. That was really cool. I'm so happy for you. That is awesome. Alrighty, guys. We're gonna end it a couple minutes early tonight, guys. We're gonna send you guys over for a big surprise. That's right. Once again, a big congratulations to Kimmer Kiss. That is so awesome. And uh, no, no, I didn't mean to go back to the intro. <laughs> We're going to be having more Tech Talks, guys, and it was so awesome. But tonight, something big is going on, and I don't want you guys to miss it. So we're going to put out the link in the chat. Please hit the like button. If you're new here, please subscribe. I'll take off the echo, so I'm not doing that in you guys' ear. And thank you so much for tonight. This has been the most awesome tech talk. Uh, tons of questions. It's been nothing but phenomenal. You guys are the best of the best. When I say that, I mean it. Thank you so much for making us what we are. 
And that's like people like Kimber Kiss, where I'm so honored that we got to celebrate that with you. I really am. You really are phenomenal. Uh, such a great set of channels in here. And as we always do, guys, we always send you guys over to another live stream. It's voluntary, but a great way to meet other people. Something very special going on tonight, and I want you guys to be a part of it. I want you guys to see it for yourselves. Always remember, guys, uh, great things happen on YouTube when we're all surrounded by great people. You guys are great people. You guys are awesome. Whether you just started YouTube a week ago or you've been in it 10 years, whether you have 20 subscribers or 20,000, you guys are phenomenal individuals, phenomenal creators, phenomenal people. And that's why I always say you're the cream of the crop. So hit the like button, guys, if you haven't already. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. And then follow that link that Xavier just posted. If you can, please copy the hashtag from Pusha with Love. We're going to let the live stream run for about two or three minutes just to let everybody say their goodbyes and stuff like that. Follow them over. It is celebration time because of Kimmer Kiss. And there's something really special going on, guys. We're not even going to put it in the title. We'll let you uh, have the element of it's surprise. It's a surprise. Oh, uh, ENS boss. Uh, we're just on our way. It was so nice to see you. It's always. It's, and remember, guys, got an amazing guest tonight straight from Casey Neistad's uh, 368. We're going to have, you want to learn about YouTube and branding and that? You're going to hear it from the masters tomorrow night. You do not want to miss that. 7 p.m. Eastern, guys. Ah, uh, thank you so much, uh, Sty North. It was so great having you in. Ah, uh, Kimber Kiss, it's, uh, uh, yeah, we can tell her. I, I know because it's, it's, it's over Green Bay Wackies, but he has somebody very special on with him. So Yes, uh, he has a special guest there. Somebody who traveled a long way to be there with him in the studio. With a surprise in, in a good and positive way. Yes. Very good and positive. You're saying the link won't work for me. Oh, oh Kimberly, because okay. that's why Kimberly. Oh, sorry, I didn't see your name. Yeah, so uh, Green Bay Wacky, guys. If you if the link's not working, type in Green Bay Wacky. What an awesome night! So once again, guys, can't uh, enough. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Gil. That's right. That's right. <laughs> oh, excellent, guys! Like I say, I'll leave it run for another two minutes or so, and then we're gonna shut it down. Thank you so much for tonight. This has been absolutely awesome. You guys are awesome, and we'll see you over there in just a few minutes. Thank you so much. Have a great night. Congratulations to you, uh, Kimber Kiss. And uh, remember, guys, cheers and keep creating. Bye now.